Oh, here we are. Sorry, everybody. We had uh, the audio off. Shame on Oh, no! Shame on We just shared such a moment. Wait. Uh, Thank you to the chat. Now no one's going to hear my stock tip. No, thank (laughs) you to the chat. Appreciate it. I think it was uh, who, who found it out here. Somebody found it out. Might have been Chris from Long Island. Yeah. Somebody, thank you. I apologize. Well, we just explained, uh, you know, we decided to just cancel the entire rest of this campaign. Um, (laughs) But, you know, we appreciate you sticking with us. And episode 35, this is it. Uh, That's what we just discussed. So you made it. You you made it now. Perfect. All right. So we'll see you on the tabletop. Just kidding. (laughs) Just kidding. Just kidding. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. I um. So. We just discussed Chris posted in Discord today, um, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what? That's exactly how I felt. Chris, what did you post in Discord now that we can all hear you? Well, I was I was uh, sitting in my lumberjack room, and um, you know, just I was all, all alone, and I just felt this feeling of blah. But then, you know, I found myself thinking about playing D and D today. I remember we, I was playing Hieronymus tonight, and I felt all excited and happy again. So then I went on to Discord to reflect upon my feelings. Yes, and it was as we, as we said, you and Hieronymus are in sync, really. Um, I think I, I think we are. Yeah, and I I get it pumped too because the the keep uh, the keep is like, you know, it gets me into that old school vibe that that I feel like I could kill any of you at any moment. It's great, great power <laughs> trip for the DM. Oh, um, with great power comes some responsibility, great, is what I think. Treasure, the is. Moderate DM, uh, this one a moderate, yeah. Welcome everyone in the YouTube chat, Twitch chat. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is the Keep on the Borderlands episode thirty-five, and uh, as I said at the beginning, but nobody heard me. This is Tabletop Bob. Welcome. I am your dungeon master for tonight, and we have a great episode in store. Let's go around and introduce the characters. Chris, you're playing Hieronymus, so we know that. Uh, what's a uh, what's Hieronymus up to? Hieronymus is feeling high with the power of the elements. And uh, he's feeling extremely powerful, especially compared to his weaker companions. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, we have a question, a challenge for, for you viewers to, uh, to to uncover. I was looking at my hit points, and I'm at max hit points. Uh, the best I can do is uh, 4d6 plus 8, which is 32, which is what I'm at. So the question is, did I actually roll six six-sided dice or a six sixes? Oh. Four sixes. So we need someone to look through the footage and find out. I guess in theory it would only be three sixes, right? Because you started right, three at sixes. All you right, started right. at full. Okay. That's a good point. So, that's, so either uh, either I roll three sixes or at some point when I was messing around with Hieronymus, I made I messed up. Cheated. The number of the beast or you messed up. So we I need an answer. answer. I do believe you you are at 29, 30, 31, or 32, if I were to guess though. Because I'm at 28, and I think you have more hit points than me. Well, I do. An 18 on 3d6 is a 1 in 200. So I wrote, I rolled a 6 all three times. Right. That, that know, happens 1 in 216 times. I'm pretty sure I did. but I'm not, just I'm not two? saying yeah. you didn't. I'm just saying it's rare and special. Uh, the poll is up. Just like Hieronymus. The poll is up right now. Did Chris cheat? Yes or no? Uh, let us know what you did. <laughs> oh, in yes. the YouTube chat. Love it. I wow. tend, I tend to. It sounds right. We were, we were shocked. Well, well, we'll point a special if, if I cheated, why would I bring it to the attention of the, the gallery? Yeah, uh, because you, know? you want to be brought closer. It's like a stuntman that wants to get closer to the edge of death. Like <laughs> that's what you're, you are right now. You're wrecked by guilt, stuntman. <laughs> Is the Hieronymus feeling uh, resentful for his power, his great power? Never. <clears throat> I have thirty-one Never. Hieronymus. That's I'm coming for totally you. Totally surprising. Oh, you're a cheater. You're a whole level higher. No, I I get a D10. No, <laughs> and you roll the one. <laughs> I play a class that's three. supposed to have HP. Well, all right. Well, we'll see. the The poll is up right now. No, right now is there's the ten guys searching furiously. There, yeah. When when you find it, everybody, let us know. All right, let's jump down to. Let's go to uh, John. John Karg had an interesting episode last time. Yeah, Karg is uh, it's a little surprised. There's some stranger things happening to Karg than the register in which he speaks. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's feeling a little spent though. Feeling a little, a little exhausted, but kind of maybe a little loving my newfound power and maybe mm. feeling a little withdrawal that I don't have it currently. 
with my uh, my rages and my random bits of magic. Right, your wild uh, magic surges that you can do. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm looking forward to it, but yeah, trying trying to get back to that power, feeling some withdrawal. Yeah. Fair enough. We'll see. Uh, Jeff, sure. how's Skeggy doing? Uh, Skeggy is is very excited because he's he's made third level barely by like one point one experience point at the end of last session. It was super close, but he made it uh, about thirty points actually. So he gets to roll. Yes, and as soon as we're done with Tim and Nate, we will do so because we love our rolls for hit points here. <laughs> well, we love them until they happen, and then we're very disappointed by them unless we're Chris. That's right. Yes, Tim. <laughs> going on everyone i'm playing uh eric lavernus the chaos clearing chaos cleric human uh and it's been a a good run so far it's been a blast and uh and an effort to really get into character viewers if you feel like you've got no idea what's going on because we haven't made plans i promise you i feel the same way all week long i watch the group chat go on and on and on and i log on and i've got no idea what's going to happen so i tell you our our group chat whoo our text yeah. chain I, I have never read a word of it, so I've got no idea what's going to happen. Huh, I think I saw right. 45 <laughs> messages at one point, and I was reading it, no and I still had 45. <laughs> Man, to be a fly on the wall in that group chat, right? I'm sure it's interesting. Well, we'll see. We'll see what the plan what the plan is this time. You'll find and... out on the new tier of the Patreon level. <laughs> we'll add you to the group chat. Patreon and yeah, it's a month level. You get included it's in the, all the text straight. It's the, the Snowden yeah. level. <laughs> That would I don't be think we awesome. would give somebody access to our private text message chat. I don't know if that yeah. sounds pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> you can totally do that. We just, we just pay people just to sit in and walk in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And we go to Nate. Finish up the uh, group here. Uh, howdy. Uh, I'm playing Barrick, Human Paladin. Feeling uh, pretty good. Just had some consistency for a little while. Um, you know, for the last like five episodes, just you're clearing out evil in the caves. That's I don't know if he's. You... Uh, you slipped, all over. you slipped what? towards evil, and you've forsaken your goodliness. You are now, <laughs> you are now balanced. I think it's just a little more of a neutral outlook on uh, the good and evil. But uh, yeah, excited, uh, excited to keep clearing out some caves. What's yes. what's the quote I'm thinking in my head right now? Is this Lord of the Rings something where it's like perfectly balanced as all things should be? What's what is that? What's the quote? It sounds like a Gandalf. I don't know. Somebody out there, help me. What 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 quote am I thinking of? Is it Lord of the Rings? Feels like it's fantasy. Something about something being perfectly balanced as all things should uh, be. In no, it. you're referencing Thanos from Avengers. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a little the off. scene where he's yes. showing Gamora the the yeah. knife. I yes. like his finger. <laughs> yes, I googled it up, and that's exactly it. Good call there, Nate. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh, when you said feeling a little more balanced, that just I was you like. Know. Gandalf Thanos, they're, they're practically the same character. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Basically. no. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oops. All right, Chris, it seems like you've got a lot of uh, friends in the chat here. No, you did not cheat, so uh, we'll, we'll go with that for right now. But we, we got oh, to go through the – we got to comb. They confirmed comb. it? No, we got to comb. That was just a poll. That was people's gut. But we'll, oh. we'll comb through. We'll comb through. Well, someone, someone just got to look at the footage. It's all there, and we can just find out. Well, That's true. you know, lumberjacks are 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 famously trustworthy. Very true profession. So super truthful, yeah. yeah. Except for Abe. Well, and accountants, lumberjacks and accountants, number and one Lincoln. and number two. He, is yeah. he the one that cut down a cherry tree and lied about it? Or was that Thomas Jefferson? That was George Washington. George Washington, <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. <yeah>. allegedly. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The keep on the borderlands. It's going to be one of those nights. Yes, it we will. We started be. before nine. That's I know. Crazy. We're on a roll. So, we just concluded the last session. There's blood still spilled all over the floor. The fur bedding that the chieftain of the goblins uh, used in his in his personal chambers is just littered with. Um, hard to even explain what this is. Just this this matter. Uh, his Disarray. body kind of just basically melted into like this acidic goopy tentacly uh mass and and it's there i mean he was he was uh scary scary when he was alive and yet he's still rather terrifying in death 
And you can see this room has been ransacked, obviously, by you all. You found some gold, you found some items, and as you rest here after this battle, take a moment, uh, the stench begins to really fill the room. You are trying to turn your nose away from this, but it's a small chamber, only 20 by 30 feet, so it smells in here pretty badly, along with the other dead goblins that you've, you've uh, left here. Um, so I'm going to switch over to a roll 20 screen and, uh, yeah, discuss what you'd like to do. I, I mean, we, we kind of talked a little bit about this in the, uh, in the chat. I mean, I know you all want to rest at some point. Uh, you know, the caves, even one that you clear most of the creatures out of, or maybe even all of them, is not going to be something, a place where you could really take a long rest because other patrols, other monsters are in these caves lurking. Um, and so it's not really a safe place to take a long rest. But you do have your kobold cave, which seems to be a place of perhaps some safety and security because you are, uh, you know, the kobolds are in service of you. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, what was the what was the plan? What do you what do you think we're going to do now? We have to find out what else is back there because we heard more goblins scrabbling around to the north of us. That's right. Yes, there were more. There were more sounds. I think it was Skeggy. It was you who went to check that mm -hmm. out. Yeah, yeah my, my yeah, ill-fated flanking maneuver. <laughs> right. We wanted to see what's up north, <laughs> and we wanted to uh, inspect for uh, weapons using magic. So we were also going to do that. You're coming in a little low there, John. Did I hear you right? You want to go searching, exploring for magic? Yes. Hopefully, my volume is a little better. Um, yeah, we were also we were talking about going north, and we were talking about searching around for magic weapons. Gotcha. Do you want me to sneak up that way while Hi Hieronymus scans this area for magic items? I actually get to scan too, which is kind of cool, and I don't need to wait ten minutes. <laughs> Chris, we're not hearing you. Let's go clear clear that last room, and then we'll start scanning from there and work our way back. Oh, save this save this yeah. spell cast. I, see. I can I can do it twice every short rest. Okay. Magic awareness. Oh. You know this. You know the location of any spell or magic item within sixty feet of you. That isn't behind total cover. Okay. Before we leave this room, I want to roll my hit die. Yes, please. Oh, that's right. Let's do it. The floor okay. is yours, Jeff. Oh, we got it queued up. Here we go. Yes! Big yes! Money. More than 50%. First time ever in Six. more than a year I've rolled more than 50% on a hit Six die. Six out of eight. So let me go manage my hit points here. That'll That's bring good. me to a total of 24. What? That's good. Respectable. Which Man, is, heck yeah. I think, a, oh, hang on, roll. That's very respectable. Okay. Isn't uh, that like twice what Skeggy had? That, that is basically the same thing that Scory had at fourth level. For Scory. Right. And yeah. Scory was a fighter with a better constitution. Nice. So, yeah, the, the rolls have been. I've only rolled twice, so. But they've been good. They've been better than. Uh, so ro I've rolled a total of eighteen. Well, I'm pretty sure you rolled a one at one point. Oh, yeah. Scory did. Scory, yeah, uh, Scory rolled tough. a one at one point. I definitely remember that. It is hard. It's hard to come back from a one on a D10, right? On a D10, yeah. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> Oh, it was, I was story. sick when that happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to happen to me if I ever make fourth level. We need to get some inspiration so that we can re-roll those. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to, just to make sure, I'm going to sure roll like it. a test roll. Just to Did you see sense. that mind trick I just played on Bob? I'm not yeah. sure how that works. <laughs> All right, okay, so yeah. we'll, um, yeah, we'll, 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 um, We'll let you explore a little bit. Uh, why don't we do this? Let's just give me a, a marching order, and we can move around our tokens, but we'll really just keep it as whoever's in front is kind of the one maneuvering and the one leading. So who wants to be that person in the front line? I'm full of health, so I'm happy to be. Yeah. I'm, it's not I'm the only thing you're full of, Nate. Ah. I Enjoy. <laughs> love. Ah. Baloney. Baloney. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to let... Yeah, I'm going to be one space away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I assume you're all going to um, be within... When we, if, if a combat were to break out, 
I would say position yourselves behind me. Okay. And, uh, Bob, I am trying to, you know, listen for what uh, Skeggy had warned us about. Uh... The, the, yeah, the noises, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Why don't you give me a perception check, then? And anybody in the group can do this. I'm assuming you're all actively listening. Yeah, that would be great if other people did, too. <laughs> Am I not coming through? I'm lagging a little bit. I hear you, but I'm not looking at Zoom right now. Hey. I am fascinated by the ground. It is the most <laughs> interesting ground I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I'm distracted by your distraction. <laughs> I look around and see. Hey, there, there we go. It was worth the wait. Heard? <laughs> a 20 for me. 24. Yeah. Nice. I asked Skeggy what he's hearing. <laughs> he looks alert and you turn I'm to uh, your dwarven companion sure. um, you heard some noise coming from this way before yes I um, did however you do not hear any noise coming from it at this at this time mm. they are and lying in wait just for your just because you would remember this to the north here there's a corridor left and that's where there was a storage room where you heard the shuffling of feet, the the the, the movements of creatures hiding this is somewhere just, in that room. And, and ahead of us here is just a dead end, right? A dead end, correct. Or at least yeah. we so know this goes up into the left. Yeah, I've I've got my peek shield up and my warm air in my hand. Well, peek around the corner. You, you and me. Yeah. You want yeah to let's do it. Do it. We'll stick our heads out like send the two out. guys without infravision, without dark vision, to peek around the corner. Well, somebody has a torch. I forget who has a torch. Which oh, yeah. Mohag. Who's carrying it? Mohag, right. Yeah, you're right. No, I think Mohag does carry the torch, yeah. Mohag is carrying a torch. All Would right, you like so... Mohag to come up there in the front with you? Uh Mohag, we need the light. Uh, Mohag, we need the Wait. light. No, keep don't... the light back. Don't they'll see it. Ah, it's... Mohag, go back. He's he starts moving forward like kind of like enthusiastically marching up front and then Card yells oh, back know. and he goes We've been doing this for a year and a half and this is how good yeah. we are at it. He's yeah, like, you I'll, might uh, take it a look. Yeah, yeah. Peek around the corner. I'll take a look. I'll cover you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll it's come It's no up wonder with... my son died in your care. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a bunch of idiots. Your son was the one who used to lead us. We're 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 hopeless now. <laughs> okay, well I'm peeking I want to stay as close to uh, I, five I, feet I'm of him. being sneaky, so tell me if you want to roll. Um, ah. No need. You can see the storage. <laughs> you can see the storage ahead of you. Um, you don't hear any shuffling like you did before. You were pretty certain of your ears right. just about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, and now there is nothing. And I'll come up in. here. Yep, I can oh, read the shoot. description to this room for you. There's nobody oh, here. Boy. <laughs> We're just really? basically at roll for initiative. No, nope, there's it nobody looks like here. There's things that okay. Yeah, it looks like there's four people down there. Yeah, uh, four things. Skeggy, you were you were very clear in your. your they're they're gone. Those tokens were there. They're gone. So, ah, okay. Yeah, I just I just realized I left them there from the previous one. They're oh, not there. okay. They're not there. Yep. Uh, uh, I don't think I actually got to where I could see into this room very well, so I don't. I didn't see. Correct. You didn't see anybody, but you heard creatures moving. You were 100% certain of it last time. And with your 24 this time, you're fairly certain that those creatures are no longer here. You don't hear, you didn't hear them. Uh, You didn't see any shadows or anything like that being cast when your light breached the wall from Mohag. Um, you, You were certain of it. So you walked into the room and you can see the storage here where these goblins clearly keep quite a bit of uh, items. I'm going to read it to you here. Let's make sure I'm not reading the wrong one here. Yeah. So you can see this 50 foot by 30 foot room is stacked and heaped with many bales, boxes, crates, barrels, sacks. They contain various uh, food, cloth, uh, wine, ale, nothing seeming out of the ordinary for stolen supplies. Well, we're definitely. All right, I'd like to uh, turn here. on my magic awareness. There's 
there's another uh, way out of here. I'm while sure. he's yeah, doing that, I'm going to start moving things away from the wall. Yeah, I think that's you know, the right plan. Kind of going around the room, looking yeah. for entrances or exits. There's definitely another way out. Great idea. I'm just working. Uh, yeah, I'm looking behind the stuff against the wall. Sure. For any, but... any sign of a, of a hidden... Or on the floor underneath it, yeah. Give me perception checks, and if you're doing your magic thing, John, just tell me exactly the reading of it. Yeah, okay, I was going to put it in the chat. Uh, as an action, I open awareness to the present of concentrated magic until the end of my turn. You know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. When you sense a spell, you learn what school of magic it belongs to. E equal to my proficiency bonus, long rest regained. Okay. So location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet that isn't behind total cover. So technically if it's in a crate, I don't know what that does. but Yeah, that would be total cover, unfortunately. But yep. no, you don't sense any magic. All right, I start walking around and lifting, looking in things. Yeah, picking up boxes. Everybody, uh, if you're yep. searching for something, give me a perception check. I think a lot of us or all of us did. Yeah, I see what Tim was talking about. The floor is sweet. I'm like really into just staring at it. <laughs> I'm now no longer staring at the floor. I am quite enthused by these boxes yeah. <laughs> behind them. So, yeah, Tim, you can realize that there are what looks like perhaps footprints in this room. Uh, clearly, oh, there's dirt and debris, uh, the, other than other than the food items or like a broken crate or something like that. It, it looks like there was some sort of movement motion here. And you also notice that there is a gray wooden handle that looks like it's built into the stone. In fact, without really staring at the stone for too long, you probably wouldn't have seen it. But right here, and I'll mark it on the, the uh, roll 20, there's a little gray handle. Let's put it right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think upon finding that, I, I would definitely tell the group probably probably uh, Skeggy first because he was one of you who first heard noise up here. Uh, hey, uh, there's a, a handle up here. So if they got out, that seems to be a reasonably good way they might have gotten out. All right. A handle? How did I miss that? I completely missed it. It blends in with the wall. You can see it's, it's clearly excellent craftsmanship. All right, uh, you want me to pull it? <laughs> Maybe not right away. Let, let's give it just a moment. Ah, okay. Is uh, there anything we want to make sure we take from this room? We're moving on. Look in the boxes. Yeah. Anything so we're not taking, we should destroy on account of stolen property and spite the well, We well, had, food, we had beer, talked wine. about taking what we could carry back over to the kobolds to... Yeah. Eat yeah even if we don't want it, give them something. With, we, you know, we can send them back here to food. get it. Ooh, we could send idea. them back here to get stuff if, if we want, but I feel like we should bring something too. Yeah. Well, so maybe we'll, we'll do that on the way out. But we'll get it on the way out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you could each carry like a crate or a barrel or something. There's nothing Perfect. that sticks out in any of these big, larger crates as being more or less valuable. No, in fact, it's a uh, like I said, of no special worth. Okay. Hieronymus will cheer for you while you carry crates of garbage to the kobolds. <laughs> I mean, it's still food. It's still, still actually worth something inherently, but you know, it's, it's not a uh, all right, not gold. Yeah. I mean, we need food. I'm getting sick of this elven bread. A little food would be nice. <laughs> elven bread? Where'd you get? <laughs> nice. I miss. I Lobby's miss a little, uh, halfling biscuits. Yeah, show Rambo's biscuits. Yeah, yeah those were good. We uh, had a cook for a while. He was. Uh, did you know Shell Rambo, John? No. Yes, ah. actually. For a very yes. short period of time. One episode, yeah. One episode. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to uh, pull that lever? Hold on. Like uh, before we go. I'm, I'm listening nope. at, to hear you know, to hear if there's anything on the other side of this door, anything going on at all. Hieronymus does an investigation of the lever with a 25. You can, you can gather that by pulling the gray handle, 
um, it will uh, the rock wall will basically be lifted upward, kind of like swinging up, almost like a doggy door. Ah, will swing upward. How large a door? It looks like it goes the entirety of this wall, so it might crack and make like a triangular, you know, right triangle type type deal. Um, it is probably, I guess it would be 10 feet in height. Oh. I, I run this will draw the outline of the door with a piece of charcoal. Or as high as you can go, at least. <laughs> I'll lift him up. It will draw an outline of the bottom half of the door. He <laughs> <laughs> draws yeah. like the first two feet. Yeah. <laughs> you Whatever, to I hate you all, die. I'd like to get on the edge of it and notch an arrow. Or a bolt. Sure. All right. Somebody um, bolt. I'm just, uh, before that happens, I'm going to walk around and touch Skaggy, Karg, and Eric and say, uh, blessings of the risen one beyond you all. And, uh, cast bless on all of you. You. All right. Nice. And then we should pull it. Who's doing you it? You got three of us, right? Say it again. Nate, you have to choose three of us, right? For bless. Uh, uh, yeah, so Skaggy, you, and Eric. Okay, I'm sorry. Yep. Thank you. Blue I've, Darcy, don't forget. I've got my crossbow in one hand. So, I can pull the... Well, do I want a crossbow? I'll, I'll, I'll just walk up and pull it with the give, give her a yank. I pull it. All right. Here's what you see. You don't need a strength check or anything like this, but it's a rather heavy door. You, you'd assume... That because of the goblin's small stature, it might take more than one of them to give this a good old heave before it um, opens. But you open up the hatch, and again, it, it kind of unlodges itself as you swing it upward, and it gets that angle. It's, it's probably about five feet in height where you could easily go through it, but you'd probably need to crouch. Someone like Eric would need to crouch. Skeggy, Karg, Hieronymus. Just realizing you have a very short group. Skaggy, Karg, and <laughs> Hieronymus, you could probably walk through this no problem. I don't know, probably um, I but this is the view, I would say, of Hieronymus and Eric and Mohag is not ideal. And Barak, since you're there, the first person there, arrows are going to get launched at your feet. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> Excellent. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Nope. Oof. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Oof is right. Hot rolls. Hot oh. rolls. Oh. I get nothing for my ready to action. What is your ready to action? I'm sorry. I said it's I had my crossbow bolt notched. I was so if I saw anything, I was lying oh. down like as it yeah, was. Yeah, you just. Up. Yeah, you just. Uh, oh, well, hold on. Let me let me get you. Uh, I don't know how close they here. are, but yeah. Let me get you some sight here. We can take down the uh, the, the lighting. Mohack steps forward with his torch, ready to light the way fearlessly. Oh, we got the we got the first team here. You can see there are three hobgoblins in the front line, and four goblins behind them, all with the uh, short bows. The goblins, the hobgoblins, have long swords. Okay, so really yes, John, I would say through. that. I should sorry. have dodged. Sorry, Nate, go ahead. What'd you say? No, no, I just realized I should have dodged. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, John, I would say that if you were planning on, you know, doing that, um, as I'll soon as as soon as soon the door swings open, you can peek out and see the the assailants. So go ahead. Your ready to action would go. Yeah, I'm like lying on the ground like, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you firing at the closest the individual? Yep, yeah, closest individual. Is it more than 30 feet? It is not. Okay, so that 18 to hit. I think it's exactly 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Exactly. Perfect. Just want to play it right. 18 so does hit. So that's six piercing damage. Okay. And then I think I'm first in the pecking order. Yeah, let me just get your initiatives here. Um, we've got Karg. What'd you get? 20? 19. 19. Okay. And then the rest of you, all garbage rolls. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. Eight for uh, Eric. Eight. 
Nexus four. Nice. Hieronymus. And then we've got Barrack at no. Skeggy at three and Barrack at one? That's right. I'm number one. <laughs> Boag. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Mohag. <laughs> Mohag, let's see. He's got a. Uh, got him. I rolled it. A 12. Okay. Mohag will go 12. And then your enemies. Lad. <laughs> All right. Let's start with you, Karg. All right. I'm going to say. Ah. We, we got him cornered. Let's let's attack him from range, and then fire my hand crossbow again. Okay, I am going to. Uh, sorry, hold on. I forgot. I just had to roll the uh, tax at Nate. Um, so let me do that real quick. Oh, they don't land at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> they may. I, I was really hanging on those words. <laughs> they land. They do. They land in your feet. <laughs> oh, bummer. Oh. All right. Be so we've... for your toesies. <laughs> We're going to have a full-on Seven, Achilles situation. 17 is the highest I got. Uh, nope, none of those sorry. Two. A critical hit is the highest I got, the fourth one. That's great. <clears throat> 10 piercing. Fun, fun. Okay, yeah. so that was the, the, uh, the readied actions by the, the goblins, although, to be fair, that's it's really more of like this. They were ready. Uh, John was prepared. You were unable to see them. So I'm going to say that was the surprise. They all acted. Now we go to the top of the order. It's Karg. All right. So then I'm going to fire another shot at the same person I was attacking. Mm -hmm. So you get an extra D4 now. Yeah, oh. yeah, which I think I'm going to use. Uh, I, no, I no. It's fire. every attack for a minute. Oh, it's every attack. Sweet. It's everything. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Sweet. All right. How's that 16 going to work? Sorry, did I miss something here? Uh, he has bless, so that bless on me. up to sixteen. Oh, gotcha! And you were attacking the same creature. Correct. Yeah, that'll hit. Sixteen will hit. All right, rolling damage, five piercing damage. Gotcha. What was Take it the it first the first round? Six. Gotcha. Okay. Yep, that hobgoblin will go down. Sweet. Nice. Well done. Okay. Do they have less than they have eleven or less. Yep. Now we <laughs> go to. Uh, now with, we go to. You're not not done, right? Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna stay down where I am. Okay. Yeah. Let the big guys do the charging. I'm I'm what I'm. I'm Wait, you, you, who is the big guys on. now? It's what? me, unfortunately. I was gonna say I think John is. is Him and Hieronymus. I'm the new know. big guy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's Barrack and Mohag. I want Mohag in the front line. I want Mohag's ready. Too. All right. He's ready. He's ready. Like He's tanned, rested, and ready. He's ready That'd be great. XP. He better earn it. The That's goblins, right. the goblins get to go first. XP. Goblins get to go first. So the goblins are going to fire. Uh, let's see. When it, Karg, you've got pretty hard to hit position there. I'll give you a big cover save, but you were the first one to shoot. So we're gonna throw at least one goblin on you. Yeah. Even though your position's pretty, pretty. Uh... Well, what, what do you think? Uh, half cover. Yeah, I would cover? say we... half. Well, you don't have yep. you don't have a uh, three quarters, so I'm gonna go half. But so your AC would go up by was it five? I think that's right. Yeah, which it's is gonna good. miss. I mean, it's one's gonna gonna strike and shatter against the wall next to you, and then you duck out of the way just in time. Barrack, since you're a bigger target. 14, 17, 20. Not a natural 20. 20 hits. Four piercing. And then those goblins are going to scatter. They're going to go up and around here and here. All right. Let's go to Mohag. Mohag uh, jumps into the air, trying to avoid the arrows that fly by Barrack. And he's like... Uh, we going in, Barrack? Stands Seven. to the side of the doorway. I'll be right behind you. Get up there and swing away. <laughs> he looks. 
he looks it's to Skaggy. Turn, lad. There's nothing we can do about Light it. Light of Hyperius well, guides us, friend. He looks to Skeggy with a little worry in his eyes. Into the breach, lad. <laughs> I've already killed one. Hurry up. You're losing. So he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. He can't reach it in one. So take out a hand axe and he will heave ho. Nice. <sighs> what a champ. He f- fails, though. He does not hit. It scatters down the hallway. And then he immediately regrets his decision. So he'll stay right there. He will not go any further. In fact, he's just going to get within the 20 foot range so it doesn't have disadvantage. That's where he'll go. He'll stay right there, take out a hand axe, and chuck it. And he attacked. Go to... I mean, it's progress. He did. He couldn't reach, oh, so he realized yeah. that. You know, Making moves. You know, we can't, can't fault him. Eric Lavernus, you're up. Uh, I'm going to step forward, and then uh, is Barrick still, like, holding the door open, is my understanding? Uh, I would say that the, the door kind of can lodge itself. Like, Barrick, if you were to let it go at any point, it would stay partially open. I'll do so, that. So, yeah, I'd have to like, be a, it's, it's pretty target. sturdy in there, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, then can I uh, push one of these barrels and then, like, the old Donkey Kong style and just roll a barrel at full force down them? Ooh, hey, that's the yeah. barrel I'm hiding behind. <laughs> you, you can, you can yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, what, what do you want me to roll for that? In my head, we'll I'm make, thinking like a D20 plus athletics. We'll make it an improvised weapon, so you can just roll your strength or, yeah, I think strength for this one. I don't think it's dexterity. Okay. Yeah. Do a shove. Not athletics. A shove action. Can I add the plus four from bless? Yeah, yep. definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Oof. That's a 12 total. That's not going to hit. Um, the barrel <laughs> rolls down, and, and you almost run down Mohag. He jumps yeah. over it, and he does the little cartoon where he's, like, dancing on it for a second. And then it slips out from under him and goes wildly down the hallway, just to the left. So you oh, miss the, you miss the two pins. Oh, oh, but at least I don't have any cover anymore. I make Donkey Kong uh-huh. noises <laughs> from behind the door. <laughs> we'll, we'll say the map is... Uh, you know, I mean, there's plenty of barrels right there, so it's not the only only barrel. Oh, I'm going to stay on top of those barrels. I'm going to keep rolling. We got all okay. that. All right. One of those <laughs> barrels rolls down. Like Get a strike, game, dude. Eric. I'm working on it. We'll say it rolls all the way down to the end and then oh maybe stops at the wall. We're pathetic. All right. So we go to <laughs> the Hobgoblins Yikes with the self birds. What'd you say? This is what it looks like when you have no spell slots left. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> that makes one of us. Oh, it's their turn. <laughs> it's their turn. They got a. They got a. Thinkers. They got a five, which normally would not be good. <laughs> <laughs> We're the Char Coalition, so five is plenty good. Five is plenty good. All right, so they're going to swing at you. They've got long swords. The first one misses. And against Mohag, I should say, is the target. They run up to engage Mohag. And one of them is going to hit with an 18. And they are going to do some serious damage to Mohag here. Oh, no. Don't die. We I don't want him to die. You. He's going to take four slashing. Sorry, not four slashing. Excuse me. He's going to take 12 slashing from the... Damn. Hobgoblin. Ooh. All right, so wow. Mohag goes down. He was at 19 previously, so he's down to math seven. 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 Okay, that's Mohag's turn. He's beat up pretty bad. He got cut pretty good with that longsword. He turns back to the group, and he's like, oh, help! They're on me! We're on our way. <laughs> Hieronymus. I'm coming, guy! Hieronymus will step up and throw a firebolt at at the one that just hit him. Whichever one that is. Here it, it comes. It was the top one. Se- yeah. 17? 17 hits. Yeah. Ah, for two points of damage. What? I think you did that last time, too. I, I can't you... always max my die roll. He used up all his good rolls on his hit points. He blasted the one... <laughs> You blast one to the north of Mohag. You hit it for two points. It looks mildly annoyed, and it notices you in the room because you're so small. You can see you through the door frame. I flex and let the fire glow in my eyes. 
can that like wayward barrel get caught on fire? It hits that barrel and starts to catch. It. It's at the end of the no, road. No, we've here. done that before. In <laughs> fact, both Hieronymus yes. did that before. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, Skeggy, you're up, and then Barrack on deck. Hey. Okay, I will take a bonus action to attempt my my newfound insightful fighting, uh, which I will uh, use against. Um, let's see, one of them is slightly hurt and the other one is fine. The north one is slightly hurt. The okay, well, fine. I'll I'll take a look at the south one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, let me see. Uh, I make an insight check against his deception, deception. check. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the first time I've used this ability, so we'll see how it goes. There's my insight you check. You need to beat a 16. And I do not. Wow. Okay. He rolled pretty hot. So, yeah, he did. Yeah. So I'm just making a straight uh, crossbow attack. Uh, what does it give you advantage, right? What? It gives you advantage if you were to get it. I, 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 it means that I get to use my sneak attack even you if can, I don't have you, advantage. You oh. can roll a d4 on that, by the way. Oh, I can True. roll a d4 on that? It, no, it's yeah. not an attack roll. Sorry, it's not an attack roll. He just rolled no, an insight no, check. It's uh Oh, skills. On skill check? Yeah. Are you sure? Saving yep. throws? Attack rolls or saving throws? Sorry, saving throws. Yeah. Sorry, you're right. Not skill checks. Okay. Guidance is the yep. skills. My yeah. bad. Okay. All but right. hold on a second here. You will still get sneak attack. Okay. Because Mohag is adjacent to it. Okay. Well, the, the, the game will, will <laughs> handle that for us if it comes to mm, that. Maybe it will. And it's maybe not it did. Matter. Maybe the game did handle it. But here you get your uh, plus the, four. D, the extra D four is not going to get me there, I'm sure. No, no, it will not. Oof. Okay, Let's so roll you. The four. There, no, I'm going to have a ten a, AC. It'd be a ten. It's not going to. That brings me to an eight. Oh, you rolled a six. I thought you rolled a thirteen. No, no, no thirteen the is the insight. So, Eric threw this barrel, blew your cover, really messed you up, and then you just failed every roll after that. Yeah. So it's not yeah, on me. Totally it's, on me. it's not my fault. <laughs> it's now totally Tim's rattled. fault. It's Tim's fault, yes. All right. Then we go to Barakelios. Barakelios and on top of the order, Karg. Yeah. I say, uh, come on, friends. Lay it on them. Let the wrath of Hyperius take them down. And I run ahead, put my shield up, and dodge and wink at Mohag from behind my shield. <laughs> All right. Awesome. You get into battle position. You dodge. We go to Karg at the top of the order here. Goblins are on deck. You can sense them preparing that's not a bad strategy you two guys just go up there tie them up dodge mm -hmm. dodge 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 and let us shoot them from the back moag's not good at dodging just letting you know that he's not good at dodging no he's, he's, he's never been to dodge what way. is moag good at <laughs> good at taking a hit he's doing all right you guys haven't heard him he's sing or dance it. so <laughs> oh please no thanks that's in the musical episode next week <laughs> Karg, what hey, do you got for us? So, yeah. You I'm, I'm up to be a pirate like the pirates from Penzance. <laughs> All right, seek Barrack inside. Joke. Yeah, we'll rehearse that, sure. In the text chat. <laughs> Snowden and Patreon. Um, I'm going to move up as well. Get in there. Well, wait. Yeah, I don't, uh, he's in the way, huh? I, I, the whole reason I'm doing this is so that you can shoot them from back there. Yeah, but I was going to let them do that, too. I thought maybe I'd be able to save Mohack, but there's no place I can go. Even uh, you're, you're two for two right now. You're the only one with a kill. That's true. It's... Hieronymus hates that. Alright, I'll, <laughs> I'll continue to attack. You're right. I mean, do you, but... I can't hey. fit. I can't fit anywhere. I forgot how tiny it is. 23 will hit. That's what she said. I'm so sorry for you. Five piercing damage on the one that was attacking Moag. Gotcha. Well, they both were, but the one that was injured, right? Yeah. yeah. When he threw the hand crossbow at. Yeah. That'll hit, and it will do five piercing. He's still up, but he is bloodied. He looks. He looks like you've. Uh, you hit him. You hit him in a weak spot of the armor. They're wearing scale mail armor, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Cool. Okay. If Let's only we go. can sell that. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's mundane armor, but yeah, you could. All right, so we go to the goblins next. Let's see. They're coming in here. 
I've got to do... Yes, I've got to do that. Barrack and Mohag. Barrack, what's your uh, passive perception? <laughs> uh, ten. Okay. All right, Barrack. We've got an attack with advantage on you. It's a crit. Actually, so first roll a crit. Oh. Bummer. Disadvantage on it? You can you can still make a disadvantage. Well, no, it. Uh, I dodged. Oh, obviously. But, Duh. But yes, if, I'm sorry. Yes. That, that just makes... If the first hit no, we take, 20, we would then... we would take... Yeah, exactly. So it's going to be a crit and a miss. Crit and a miss. Eight damage for the crit. Piercing. Excellent. And then the against Mohag, we've got. I'll do. Uh, I'll defend him. The first attack or the second one? The first one. Okay. They attacked twice. I'm sorry. Nope. There's there's four. There's four. I'm gonna put the tokens out in a second. All the guns um, are shooting. Yeah. Dis disregard the uh, the last roll there in the chat. Everybody on YouTube, don't go in, up in arms here. It's the first two here for the sorry for the first one. And the second one is the second two. Those I know it looks bastards. confusing, but don't worry about it. Um, so it's going to be one hit on Mohag, one failed hit. And it's going to be six piercing damage, which means Mohag has one. One HP. You better one back HP. out. Okay, Mohag's down to one. And that's the Goblin's turn. So here's what they do. They used the hide action on their turn. They went around the corner. They came out and shot... And now all of these goblins here, these four goblins, are going to run south up that. It, you uh -oh. can you can tell there are stairs there. They're going to all run south up this up this corridor here. All right, so now we go That's to trouble. my handwriting is terrible here. Mohag, and then and then Eric, you're on deck. After the right. hobgoblins go. All right, so these hobgoblins. Let me see Mohag is going to go. He's going to disengage. He heard Karg. He's like, I want to get in there. He's like, take it, my friend. He'll attack. <laughs> oh, no, he won't attack. He'll disengage straight up and get behind here. He's got one hit point left. All right. So Does he take we... attacks of opportunity? Disengage. He'll disengage and, oh, and he head disengaged. back. Yeah, I was yeah. going to attack, but then I realized he would get an attack of opportunity. Right. Yeah. Or so you might have wanted. He would disengage. Yeah. He disengaged. 20% more experience. Yeah. 100% disengage. And then we go to the hobgoblins who are going to use their long swords on Barakilios. The, the first dodged. one's going to get an eight. Second one is going to get a nine. So that's going to miss. They will finish their turns within range of you. This one, they're, they're pretty smart, these hobgoblins. This hobgoblin is going to step up He's going to right, go right there and get on your side. So he's you have one straight ahead on you, Barrack, and the other one kind of flanks around to your left-hand side. Then we've got another hobgoblin from the back appears and will shoot a bow from the distance at you, Barrack. Disadvantage, so it's going to be a total of seven. Okay. You're lucky. I think a lot of those would have been hits. That one definitely would have been a hit if it wasn't disadvantage. All right. That's the goblins. We go to Eric Lavernus. I'm going to cast a uh, Toll the Dead on this this one right below, Eric. Uh, the one that was above him was hurt. You would have known that. And I just realized I went out of order. I did the hobgoblins when Mohag went. Should have just been the goblins. I apologize. So, Eric, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do it on the one above. Or next this was to the hurt. Eric, yeah. The top left there. Yeah. The one that's hurt. Yeah. Take yes, please. So we'll roll our d12 here. Oh, it's going to make a wisdom a, saving throw and beat it. Yep, 13. I rolled it. All right, it's going to be uh, 10 necrotic damage on. Right. It's save is a 11. Wisdom 13? 11. So 10? It's going to take all 10. You got it. It's This is necrotic damage, right? So you basically suck the life out of him? That's the idea. He'll shrivel up right in front of you, Barrack. 
fall to the floor as corpse. Love it. Uh, uh, nice. Well done. Uh, I should be rolling concentration checks. Shoot. What do you? What spell do you have up right now? Bless. Bless. Oh, uh, right. just for the well, yep. just for the crit, right? So there were oh, no, two you... hits on you with crits, right? One uh, for eleven. Was the first one. One for yeah. eleven and one for eight. So go ahead, roll uh, one at a ten. They're both at ten. Okay, fifteen on the dice and a ten on the dice. So Oof. unless your unless your con is worse. Nope, con's okay. plus one. So, yep, you're good. The concentration holds. And then we go to, uh, after Eric, it'll be Her- Hieronymus. Skanky on deck. Move up right behind Barrick, too, there. So that's my movement, and that's my turn. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Uh, high rose up. He's going to throw a fireball at the guy in the back. Oh, fancy. 17. That'll hit. Five points of damage. Gotcha. Toll his dead now. Toll his dead. We'll get him next. <laughs> Anywhere else you're moving, around Is that, that where uh, you're staying? Uh, I'll, I'll take another step up, I guess. Skeggy's up. Okay, I'll, do, I'll do my insight check on, on the this one here now. So just to clarify, if it's just to gain... Sneak attack? Let me, let, let me you read have it. it. Yeah, if it's oh. just against sneak attack, you'd have it here. You would not have it on the guy in the back who is also injured. And that's where I think it would come in. It would it would be like you could see that guy, you know, down the alleyway who is not engaged, just shooting it freely, and you could target him and get sneak attack. Okay, I'll tell you what. I, I'm still going to shoot at the close one. Sure. I will not insightful fighting him. I'll save my bonus action, and we'll see what happens. Sure. Okay. So uh, I'm going to sh- I'm going to shoot this one that's close by. Makes uh, sense. Too many tabs on D and D Beyond. I see an eight. Uh, With I'll bless. A plus four for bless. This is yeah. true. I don't think I don't think their AC is that bad, but I'll roll it. So it's a total of eleven. No, yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to hit. I don't think so. Okay, so now I will use my bonus action for this turn to insightful fighting on this this close guy, since okay, he's likely it. to still be standing. Okay. Uh, roll my deception. Okay, hang on. Here comes my insight. Uh, it's funny you you both rolled nat twenties. However, okay. yours is better than his. I was gonna say, but his plus is better. <laughs> you, okay, so you, I've got his number now. You have his number. Yep, twenty three to to a nineteen. So I get to keep giving him sneak attacks until I do it on somebody else. Gotcha. Yeah. So if you, or, if, let's say Barrick, yeah, right. Like Barrick and Eric leave that person, and he's no longer adjacent to an enemy. Yes, you could get it. All right. So we go to Barrick, bottom of the order, and then top is Kark. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> friends, do you want me to <clears throat> move on and let you take care of this one, or should I swing away? Charge! Go get him! <laughs> you asked! <laughs> Our generic have got him. Um, alright. So. You already know Hieronymus' answer. I'm going run. to. Uh, actually, I'm not going to disengage, Bob. I'm just going to run away from him. Take the hit. Yeah, and. Uh, and I will dodge right here uh, and say, Eric, I might need you soon. Wait, I isn't got... your dodge good until your next, I mean, through your whole turn? No, it's good till the beginning of your turn. Till my next, yeah. Okay, but my point is dodge before you run, and then you've got the dodge against the opportunity attack, as well as against the other guy. Ooh. Oh, can I do that, Bob? Yeah, you take the dodge action when you start your turn. You know, whatever, that whatever is you some, want. That is some, dodge first, some then meta. run. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still dodge put up my shield next to me and try and dodge his hit, Bob, as I run by. 
What does dodge do? It gives disadvantage on attacks against you for the next round. So did you take hits in the last round? He did I not. I still took one nat. Tw I've taken two oh, nat 20s. That's right. Nat 20s disregard dodge? Yes. No, no. Nat 20s well, always hit. Nat 20s well, hit. hit automatically. The thing is the goblin had um, uh, basically a uh, hide. So it countered the attack. Oh. So it, it hit and it was a crit and it was the one dice, the first dice. Yeah. So, so there was no dodge against that attack. Right. Had... But the rest of the I've... attacks, all the hobgoblins, they, they kind of yeah. failed yeah. pretty easily. I've been hit by two, crit two crits. Or... Yeah. Stop that. All right. So I, I would, I would, I would take... like uh, someone with more hit points to get up here than a take one. Attack of opportunity just, just because. I tried. You ran. Negative. Uh, sorry, negative. Nat one. So not good. Sweet. Gonna... All right. We go to top of the order card. All right. I'm going to get up and run on in. Did you get any um, uh, rages back by the short rest? Nope. We, we took a short rest? Yeah. At the end of last session. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually think I'm just going to go there. And I'm going to shoot at the far person. Sounds good. You'll have disadvantage on the attack, though, because you're next to a hobgoblin. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Cool. Uh, doesn't, it's not going to make a difference. D4. Well, that will make a difference. You do get blast, yeah. All right, you'll hit, so roll the disadvantage. Nice. Roll your bless. Oh, why did that come Wait, okay. Do oh, both does the... get a separate bless, Bob? No, I don't think they do because they're not separate attacks. So you roll either and take, you four, take the right? lowest one and they're the same. Yeah. So huh. That's it. That's it. That's interesting. Okay. And then it rolled. Yeah. It rolled the attack die. Just not on purpose. But yeah. Five yep. piercing damage. Five piercing. Uh, that bless is really coming in clutch. Yeah. Big time here. All right. So the one in the back takes five. And we go to uh, the goblins next. Those goblins, uh, I think you could see just the edge of their base there, uh, Bear, correct? Yeah, I could see yeah. one here, yeah. Yeah, so they'll pop into view and attack. Uh-oh. Um, I'm going to roll them all against you. Dodging. Come yep. on, dodging. I'm rolling a ton of dice here, so I'm going to have to catch back up here. Eric, I need Starting you. Starting here. <laughs> so bad. I'm ready. I'm ready. So bad. <laughs> he, he, he's he got dodge, so it matters which two dice go it, together. Yep, it does. I'm going to go back to the uh, to the top and show them all. So there, 17 okay. for the first attack. That'll miss. 17 for the second attack. That'll miss. 7 oh. for the third attack. Yes, yes. And the fourth attack. No. Nine. Yeah, yeah that'll miss. Okay. You don't those, need me. You're fine. Those, those, Clutch, goblins, those goblins Clutch are not best. thrilled here. Those goblins will... They'll move. They'll take the last bits of their movement to step backwards. Some of them only going a few spaces. Hieronymus, I saw your... Oh! <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh no! You, you could hear Hieronymus cringing from the back. Don't As die. arrows just deflect <laughs> off of my armor left and right. They oh are going God. to... You're, you're like neo that whole thing. You're bending <laughs> backwards. As a bonus action. <laughs> okay. We're good. The goblins are good. We go to wow. Mohag, and then Eric Lavernus is on deck. Yep. Mohag, right. step up and swing! He will. He'll come up sensing the opportunity on this hobgoblin that's kind of caught between Karg and Eric. And he'll swing his great axe. He is hurt pretty badly, bleeding, but he'll step up and take a big, hard swing. <clears throat> a nine. That's not going to cut it. Bless, did bless you give it to him, Nate, or nope. no? No. Yeah, I figured. You got to heal him there, Eric. But he, but he can run away because that guy already took an opportunity attack on me. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll probably do that and back away two spaces. Nice to here. 
10, if he 10, is 10. unconscious and stabilized, does he get experience? Yeah, he gets experience, yeah. Just like you <laughs> What would. if he's not stabilized yet? But if he doesn't wake up? <laughs> then he dies, yeah. In the old farm no, we, we, we finish the fight, get the experience, then stabilize him. You thought no, it was no, bad no, when Story works. killed the baby goblins. <laughs> when you kill Mohag. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think Scory got it? It yeah. was a good meat shield today, I will say. That's, I mean, hey, if I think the only person who gets to decide if you kill Mohag is the people who are being meat shields. That's it. I want, <laughs> I, I want a Mohag up there with me to absorb some of this. He's actually pretty <laughs> nasty right now. His stats are yeah. pretty good. He's got Who's the. Up? Um, for those of you who are wondering, we're using Tasha's cauldron of everything, or I am using Tasha's cauldron for the NPC uh, characters, and he's obviously a warrior. And they're pretty good. They're like solid for for that stuff. Eric Lavernus is up. I'm going to move to forward so I don't take the opportunity attack. I'm going to pull the dead one right in front of Eric. Gotcha. <laughs> going to fail. An eleven. That's great. It's going to take uh, seven necrotic damage. It also withers and dies right in front of you, Barrick. I love it. <laughs> it's like I love every it. step he takes. I'll freaking hobgoblin just withers and dies like Indiana Jones. <laughs> Get in their face <laughs> Like, like they open the, the, the arc. The arc, yeah. Just so melting. Like, eyeballs are melting out. <laughs> like, I love it. These are your best it. D12 rolls of the... It feels so yeah. powerful. It's the most kills I've ever gotten in a second. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Right. Like, right. I see the, the blood bust now. He's earning oh, his, is his experience. Awesome. Well, this yeah. is why we have to spread around the damage to everything. Hit everything once so he can just toll the dead. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This group that's is still order. learning. It's great. <laughs> I know, yeah, you heard a half later. Oh my god, this works! <laughs> We're level four. Hey, you know what? It better late than Every never. Every day is a new adventure with me. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. All right, Hobgoblin's turn. God, uh, there's I'm only so that, I'm one so last. Are I behind Eric? You are yeah. not last. I am last. <laughs> no. But Nate, Nate is last. No, I am last. No, <laughs> last. You're just eating bowls. You're all last god, by my book. Uh, I went so long ago. I'm like. Eric Lavernus, so 13. 13 hit you. Oh. Eric Lavernus, 13. Oh, 13? Yeah, I believe 13. No, I'm 16 armor class. I'm good. Okay. Whoa. I was going to say 13 is pretty low, but. Yeah, no, I'm good. Pretty sad. For a while, it might have been 13. It would have yeah, yeah, hit me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, so this hot goblin. you've got all the hit points, so what do yeah. you get? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're illegal hit points, but. Let's see here. <laughs> no, they're illegal. We, we checked, right? We believe you. Well, the poll says no, but. Oh no, no! The people, the people are on your side. We're waiting for the verdict. Well, as well because I charmed them with Hieronymus's. Oh yeah, because Hieronymus is so charming. Well, you've charming. made <laughs> you've made kindness and sweetness so rare that when it happens, it's yeah. so well, valuable. The, the thing so is, he's great. so he's he's like a he's like an ugly baby. He's so ugly, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> There goes Chris talking in the third person again. Just right, so, the DM, it's just measuring off to the side when the players chat. Yeah, I'm measuring. I don't know if can you see me or no? Yeah, yeah can you see the, yeah, yeah, we, we can see the arrows pop up. up. Do you really? But, yeah, I mean, so I know what's going like. on from right down here. Probably yeah, not, not, always, I can but, see the edge of the uh, the goblins down there. So yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, I know, but I was wondering. I don't see it on our on our player view here, but that's fine. Oh, I, we can spot. see it. Yeah, All right, we can so, see it. From right there. Yeah, yeah. So I've got two hobgoblins step up at the top oh, of the no. stairs. Ugh, so, so Nate, do you see how there's like these ridges on the map here? I do. I the see stairs, some ridges, yeah. Yeah, the stairs ascend, and you know from the other side of the cave, those stairs also ascended to where the hobgoblin children were. So it mm -hmm. makes sense that the this is heading further up the, the caves. Um, oh. But you can see that at the top of the steps... There are two hobgoblins that kind of stand out. They pull long bows and ah, they geez. take aim and fire. At uh oh, you. Come good on, thing dodge. you're still dodging. So, so we're dodging. I've got the high ground. I am also going to give you half cover for the one on the right because I don't believe that he can see more than half of your base. Yeah, um, sure, I but, agree. I don't you know, know if the one on the left can either, Bob. I mean, from this point right here, I think he can see half your base. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just... Yeah, I try. He's good. I think he's good. But I'll, the other one I'm yeah, going to give you... No, that sounds great. Uh, I yeah. was... I'll get to be honest with you. The other one Freak. can only hit you if he probably crits twice because you're disadvantaged, right? Yeah. So I, I, he's not even... I'm going to do him right now. Just get him out of the way. 
first one's a 10, so not even worth it. The other one is not going to have any cover, but it's going to roll the first roll is a 19. Second roll. A 22. Oh, yeah. uh, All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, Barrack. Don't uh, worry. I'm already unpacking the med kit back here. <laughs> <laughs> we have one right. of those? Yeah, it's you, me. You only take five piercing, though. Come on. Okay. Five. Okay. I'm I'm uh I'm pretty bloody. I'm I'm I think I got a couple of arrows in me, but I'm uh, I'm still standing. You still All got right. lay on hands, don't you? Uh, not much. No, I used most of them in uh oh. a short rest. I, on you, I think, right? Or yeah, on a bunch of yeah. All right, that's the. Uh, I need, I need some other people to come up here that I can defend and could take a hit or two. Hieronymus, What's Skeggy, Eric. Hieronymus. You know, I would want to shot a fire. I Hieronymus. believe the last thing I said was, what should I do? And I heard charge forward. Well, and I'm all right. about it. We didn't know that there was. That's were... all right. We got this. Let's go. Uh, Hieronymus, uh, fireball at that one. Please kill it, all right. He's trying. Hits it. Heck yeah. And Here's a big one. I sent an eight. Seven. Oh. For seven. That's on this one, correct? Yeah. Yeah. He did get hit, I think, last turn, right? No. There's no way he hasn't been hit this whole time. He has not been hit. What? Skaggy's yeah. gonna take him down right now, though. Yeah, Skaggy's got his number, remember? Oh, that's yeah. right. Well done, Skaggy. Everyone almost <laughs> primed him for your your kill shot. All right, Skaggy's up. Okay, this time I've already insightfully fought him, so I, I get my sneak attack bonus no matter what, and I get steady aim because I have not moved. So I get advantage on this attack. So you're getting sneak attack from three sources here. <laughs> no. Well, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, advantage. Oh, if I do steady aim, I get advantage, then I get the sneak attack no matter what, don't I? Correct, yes. We need. I need to look at all this to see how much. But whatever. In any steady case, aim, I, certainly, kill him. I have advantage and I get the sneak attack bonus. So yes, exactly. Here we, here we go. Uh, let's see my attacks. I think the key with the steady aim is that you can't move too. So it's like I cannot move. My move right. is zero until my next turn. Yeah, so it's not ideal, you know. But your insightful fighting is better because you can move and do it on the run. Yep, I'm trying to figure out how do I make this into an advantage attack. Oh well, I'll just roll twice. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, whichever rolls the highest will take. Wow. Try the same two rolls. Oh, oh, that's oh gonna... now I got a 22 and an 18. 22 is gonna do it. And okay. roll that down. I want to see the massive damage you do now. Look at that. Uh, 14. <laughs> 14. Nice. That's not bad. That's very good. You kill that hobgoblin. Strike him right right in the head. He falls to the floor. The hallway has been cleared. That initial hallway from the secret door is cleared. Now, it seems up the steps to the south, there are more hobgoblins waiting for you. Make a line at the T. All right, let's go to oh, Barrick. It's your turn. And Skeg, if you want to move, you let me know. Um, I, I don't get to move. Oh, right, steady aim. Steady <coughs> aim. Um, pretty sure I'll reread that, but I'm pretty sure that that's the... You yeah, can't move. move? Steady aim is uh, you get advantage if you don't move for a rogue. Ah. Nate, if you move one spot south, do you get more cover, you think? Uh, do that. probably. I imagine they're going to come down. What they're I would like is someone to come. I am in. coming up in what next turn? I'm coming up Excellent. and, and past right. you. He moves right around. after you. Yeah, perfect. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Last um, first. This yeah. is like 25. I actually, right? you should probably get cover. I, me, I'm already getting disadvantage on everything. You Just take the take, cover. Take a step to the east, Nate. East. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to come down they're coming. if we don't engage them, you know what I mean? They're going to come. I'm happy to uh, peek around this corner and even I, shoot my crossbow on my next turn. Yeah, I, I'm going to I'm gonna actually wait here and dodge. Uh, and say, I'm going to hold the line. Hold the line. Um, I would I would like to uh, just I, I tell the group I'd like to move around the corner over to here so that our ranged attackers can get back here. 
if that makes sense. Come to us. I'm just gonna move yeah, you. Uh, I'm just gonna move you one one step. He would like move... them to come to us. We're in a good so spot you... right here. Make them come around the corner. If you ta- if you step back ten feet, where they can't shoot you, without coming down, then they got to get into the. the you make them. No, come no. To what the, they're gonna the do? Jeff, the Jeff, Jeff. What they're gonna do is they're gonna run down, shoot, and then run out, so that you're none of you will get an attack. They okay. will not have. We either have to retreat away, away. Well, or Barak, keep pushing. Just, just you would know this. They're pretty far away from. They're like thirty feet away. So if they were to come down, they're either gonna have like five feet more of movement, or that's it. Make them come. Step back. Well, away. I can see. You, here, I, I was just saying you can you can probably see a little better than the night vision's giving it. So I'm just gonna move you out so you can see the hobgoblins on the steps and what's to the north yeah. of you. There's clearly a another storage room to the right. Uh, to right. The, top the right. two. Yeah, I could see that the two there would be able to get to. Uh, I'm saying uh, I I want to either move up and have everyone run down the hall or retreat. Because I need one. everyone to support me if I go up and dodge again. We're so going to that... support you in whatever you do. You're the one who's going to be making the decision because you're the one in the spot. You're the leader. So you make the call. Th- step Excellent. back, see if they come. If not, we charge. I, L- yeah, lead, Derek. Right. Hieronymus misses the the logic. They have they have enough there, movement there to run no down. There is no logic to goblins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hieronymus is all full attack when it comes to goblins. So just so you but, know, his hey, advice well, is going like to be charged. I would like to come up front then. Uh, Nate, he, he's about do, to. Nate, do keep in mind that if you look at all of our distances, no one can round the corner without double moving. Oh, that's right. You're a little person. So <laughs> just remember that. The, the distance is not yeah so All right. you do need uh, to be a little patient unfortunately just because we're still so far back yeah then i'm gonna just drop back to here okay and uh Excellent. dodge get, and get healed yeah i can help you up yeah that's easy i'll just dodge there All i right. want to give Bohag a heal too whoever has it karg would be up next are you also holding nope karg's going right up to the end of his movement peek around the corner and attack something there's he nothing there fine. but Oh, you have the crossbow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know that you can see much. Well, let me see. Okay. Uh, well, let me let me see. I'm gonna do some measurements on my end here. See if you can actually yeah. see. I guess I technically I can't lean out. Maybe I move. I can go here. This actually this changes things, right? So you you I, can I see from that spot. Yeah, you can shoot this guy without penalty. The one to the bottom left. The one to the right would have a big bonus for pair cover. Without penalty guy. Yep. That's the same thing that happened with Barrick. So, in that spot. Uh, yeah, I know that I can get in from there, but let's go for it. 19 there we go. Hit. John with the hits tonight. Seven piercing damage. Gotcha. Well, That's well. all my movement, so I'm stuck there. All right. Seven piercing. Okay. How many crossbow bolts did I technically bring? I never thought I should be shooting this many. How many did you have to start 4, with? Four thousand. Oh, I have. I, I mean, I have uh, several of them. Yeah, I have plenty of them. I hope you have several. But how many do you have? Uh, ten, twenty. Let me see what I got here. Actually, I think you come in sets of twenty, or yeah, sets of ten. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. Sets of ten. But you might have multiple sets. You could have twenty, looking thirty. At my stats right now. Um, while you're looking, we'll go to. Mohag. Mohag's gonna run up to Eric with his like bloody stomach arrows in it. Hanging out of his gut. Yeah. I don't want to talk to this right now, Mohag. He's like, I'm dying. You gotta help me. His man bun is all disheveled, mostly loose hair dangling by his side. <laughs> you could tell the state of his health by his by the state of his bun. How how tight it is. He's a full Terrible. HP. This is basically almost like a loose ponytail at this point. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Yep. Uh, that's his turn. He'll dodge as well. Um, we'll go to uh, Eric. To, well, the moment of truth here, Eric. Who are you going to heal? I, 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 I guess I'll heal Moag first with a, uh, a really quick uh, cure wounds. Wow. Choosing the NPC. Love. I'll get both of them, okay? Just give me give me a second. I can only heal so many people at once. It's six to six to Mohag. 
Okay, gotcha. Six. He's at seven. Okay. I'm gonna um, clap on the shoulder and say, "Now go make something of it." <laughs> he I'm feels laughing. forward to the front of Barrick. Well, I have a dodge on. If you, well, I guess it's your He's turn. Like, yeah. Oh, is this? That's uh, that's my whole turn. Okay. It's quiet up the steps. You hear clearly shuffling of feet, uh, but no volley fire on you, Kark. And then a I voice. Don't see anything. You, you don't. You don't see anything. In fact, uh, that one that you shot will move backwards, take a step backwards, getting out of sight and away from the from the um, the view. But you do hear. It's not impossible that they could swing around behind us. They could have a separate entrance. You hear a voice call out in Hobgoblin at first, and then in a very, like, rudimentary common. Um, I'm not going to try to do a, a, a voice where I I speak no good, but uh, it's ah. going to be something like that. And they say, stand down. Leave this cave at once. You're outnumbered. Um, and you hear, you'll hear a bunch of bows begin to to knock and or arrows knock and What's a goblin the tension arrows? pull on their on their longbows. Yeah, I'd like to take an insight check. Do, do I believe this, Bob? <laughs> Go for it. Give me a check. On the roll. Come on, look at that. We're all like, I yeah, have that's true. No idea. No. Oh. Um, Guys, they outnumber us. We should retreat. Look at Hieronymus. He's like, yep, let's go. But no, that's a, that's a 19. Hieronymus. A and that's 20. Here's what, here's what I'll tell you for those of you who rolled pretty low. It's, it's a rather intimidating guttural tone the hobgoblin that speaks um, has. And um, you are injured. You're all worn down, beat up. And the idea of running away at this point might sound... Like the best option, they probably do have numbers here. You've killed some hobgoblins, but to be fair, you've never really faced the hobgoblin force in this cave area. Um, for you, Hieronymus, um, you get the sense that this hobgoblin is stalling. He's trying to keep you in engaged with him. He's waiting He's for a lying. response. Charge! No, I, I think he's Jeff's, a liar. I, I can think tell. Jeff's logic makes sense now. I think they're flanking us. I'll cast Dragon Breath. Let's get him. That's not what Bob is saying. <laughs> Hieronymus, I love your your enthusiasm, but I think right now it's getting the better of you. No, he's, you fools! Go! <laughs> we are spent. We need to we need to retreat now. No, you hear just. Whale and a guttural. <laughs> I run whale. by, pick him up by his shoulder, and throw him <laughs> on my back. <laughs> wow. No. Come on, little friend. He's we'll come lying. back. I roll a 19, a natural 20. You don't know that. <laughs> he's stalling. Why do you think he's stalling? So, Hieronymus would get so that sense, get not anybody else. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, he's just trying oh, to Oh, I guess stall. that's a good point. If Hieronymus responds to their stalling by he's lying, I guess I'll insight check Hieronymus <laughs> to see if he's <laughs> Wait lying. Wait a minute. <laughs> he continues. I mean, that, that, it's as genuine as it can be. The, the, Above the, and beyond the his goblin, normal bloodthirst. The Hobgoblin voice will continue, and he says, You are the ones that killed our children. Leave now. Technically, no. <laughs> There's a small number of us left. That I mean, he's just, he's just we knew him. He's trying to slow us down. I, I, children live. What's he talking about, children? <laughs> oh. We have something to talk about, Skeggy. You'll find that our battle force is far more formidable. Look at it. If they were going to uh, attack us, uh, they would. I look at Karg and Eric and say, I could use a rest. What about you? <laughs> if they were gonna come, I they would. I got smart in me, but I mean. If they had the numbers, they would charge. Yeah. They're afraid of us. <laughs> I'm okay with kind of duking it out. Us. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I got I one am, more good heal in me. If someone goes I'm down. Out of spells, almost well, out of. One more good heal is counteract one hit 
Yeah, I got I got Dragon Breath ready to go. Yeah, I don't think you realize that's one turn in a round there, Hieronymus. Um, yeah, well, that's but that's every you know three rounds. That's like fifty hit points of damage. I'm gonna blow. Let's out. Uh, go into initiative again. Let's go with uh, Karg. You're up. Sorry, not Karg. It would be Hieronymus. I'm up now. Yeah, because Eric went, and then the hobgoblins go. He runs up. He's like, "Let's get him!" And and he will cast uh, Dragon's Breath on himself. Oh, uh, on, on, on himself. Yeah. What yeah. about on cockroach? Cockroach is dead. Uh, all right. How much? Yeah. Uh, if I have to, um, if I cast on myself, I can use my evocation uh, spell spell weaving. That makes sense. Are you gonna move up? I want to get right behind whoever's in front and cast through you onto whoever's attacking you. Yeah, so I'm all the way up here. I moved up five. He's doing the feet. best he can. <laughs> oh, man. Really? From I there? I went. That's what I got. I'm just a no. Can you guys hear me? He's got little legs. Yeah. yeah. Now he can. You see how Ronim is glowing in magical power. Flames. Flowing from him. Follow me! Oh my god, we're all gonna die. <laughs> I think Mel Car- Car- Gibson seeing the Patriot right now with Hieronymus. Freedom! <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Karg no. sees the magic on you that you normally cast on me, and I'm just saying, my precious. <laughs> <laughs> well, just six. You swing that axe of yours, and I'll do the big damage. Who did you do Uh-oh. Dragon's Breath on? Did you say you're uh, holding myself. it? Myself. Yourself, okay. All right, so you cast Dragon's Breath. We go to Skeggy. Oh, <laughs> the uh, chat oh says, I can move now because it's my turn. Chat says, I'd pick up Hieronymus and carry him out. <laughs> I have five strength. I, 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 I really uh, would like to. That's my. I mean, I'll do. I think it'd be fun to duke it out. I would like to duke it out with more. Yeah, at full power. We, we or, really need to go. Not at one tenth my power. Say it, say it in character. We got this. To... Well, I said that we really need to go, and I grab, <laughs> I grab a cask of wine under one arm. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Because I'm slow. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta say, the I'm chat gonna... is the chat is great tonight. Everybody, the YouTube chat. This is funny. Uh, let's see. Uh, a lot of people think you're in trouble, everybody. TPK incoming. All things will come to I'm end just tonight. Double move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're double moving. Where to? I'm double moving away. Yeah, I think this is bad. Okay. All right. We go to Barrack Helios. All of Helios. our frontline fighters are cut up. Barrack Helios, what do you do? <laughs> um, I am going to. I mean, I would like to grab uh, Hieronymus. <laughs> Can we resolve that? Uh, n- not really. I mean, if 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 you don't want to be picked up, Hieronymus, then I'm not going to. Hieronymus is going to resist that. Yeah, he he doesn't want to be picked up. I, I'm going to say you. I don't like player versus player stuff unless it's. I, yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, is convinced that we have the advantage. Okay. You um, did. You did roll an insight check, and I don't think you would be convinced of that with your twenty. So, just letting you know that you can you can still feel, you know, st- strong about this despite your insight. You still think you might be able to take them, but uh, you wouldn't. You don't think that you have like. It's one dude up there with a longbow, and he's he's just like, "Yeah, get out of here!" Like well, he, he we did, we heard multiple bowstrings yes. pull what back. What he said yeah. precisely, what Bob said precisely was, "You think he's stalling for time?" Correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I made a double move. He didn't so, say you think one, he's trying to scare two, you off. Yeah, right. Four. There's a difference, Bob. If I can Leave grab him, something, yeah, you can as grab I something, run yeah. by. I would like to. Yeah, you could do that. Mm-hmm. In case six. of food or something. You grab a piece of Slim Jim. 
Slim Jim. <laughs> box of Slim Jim. I can make it to there, Bob. It's not okay. gonna do it. <laughs> uh, so I grab my box of Slim Jims and uh, run. I run. Uh, turn around and glares at you off running away. It's I'm actually like it's birthdays. an off-brand Slim Jim. It's the uh, <laughs> yes, James Slim. <laughs> no, it's, it's Skinny a... Kenny. It doesn't really rhyme. Skinny <laughs> Kenny. That's so much better. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a Slim Jim, but not really. It's called a <laughs> it's called a Sim, Jim. A Sim. I just looked it up. <laughs> Apparently, there's a Sim Jim. It's an off-brand. No, I lied. It's just Slim Jim, and I can't read. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're good, Barrack, right? You double moved with the case of Slim Jims. Yep. And we go to Barrack. That's as, as Barrack. Karg, top of the order. All right. Seeing that people are uh, starting to retreat, I'm going to still keep an eye. I'm actually going to maybe take one step out. Peak. And I see all these people. Uh, th there's a bunch of them over there. And I'm going to double move. Don't Google Slim Jims. It's like the. the <laughs> <laughs> well, next Google. Wow. <laughs> it's not good. Uh oh. You don't want to know what's in them. Just. <laughs> Yes. You don't. Please, please, we will, uh, Slim Jim, we are accepting sponsorships. Um, <laughs> go right Slap across to from it, Slim Jim. Right across from Taco Bell. Wow, they were invented in 1929 in Philadelphia? Oh, you learn something new every day. Slim Jims are amazing. This is how we became the Char Coalition, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> by Googling in the middle of a session. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, who just went? Karg? Hey, I took a peek out. I peeked over. I saw a bunch of enemies. I said out loud in character, holy crap, there's a lot of enemies. And I double moved back to the storage room. Fair. And I'm now looking for something to pick up. Fair. Okay, you grab a, a, some Mentos. <laughs> Thinking of everything you find at a deli. Get the a Mentos. Fresh maker. Uh, Don't forget the Lay's. No, I, th I feel like I got like a bundle of silks. Uh, Mohag will look in... Yeah, you got silks? Okay, yeah. Mohag will also he'll find a whole um, crate full of hair ties, and he'll take them and, and head this way. No, Mohag, not not those ones. Take the other. No, he's got the hair the hair ties. All right, Mohag moves. We'll tell them they're bubble gum. Question, everybody. <laughs> uh, other than Hieronymus, are you all retreating? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hero okay. I'm if not you're... leaving. I'm not leaving Hieronymus fully behind. Of I'm course, yeah, I, I get that. But you'd you'd keep him in sight. But if you if we're we're not gonna go into initiative order here, if that's the case, Hieronymus will. You're come more than welcome here. to to stay and fight. I'm actually gonna, not. He's opposed gonna go to back that. here, and he's gonna blow fire on all this stuff down here in the bottom. Burn <laughs> oh, it all. Yes. All the food, then, and then the, he's gonna come over here and yeah. burn all this stuff. Okay. He's gonna let off some steam. <laughs> he's gonna burn the room. Angriest gnome in the world. You burn he's the angry right you now. You burn the barrels of kerosene. Whatever is in this room is gonna get burned. All good. You burn all the it's food. The clothes. Just blow flame on everything. Mm -hmm. All right. So you head. It's flame or is it acid? Dragon's breath. I forget. Or flame. you choose. I get to choose. I, I, I will never pick anything but fire for myself. I pick acid because <laughs> it's the smartest one. I grant him acid, but. <laughs> Okay, so head 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 south. Yeah, go move your, more move your tokens. Move your tokens here. Yeah, go back down. You see the the tables where the goblins feasted. Um, you head down where you, you saw the, uh, the the disturbing image of the chieftain. You head down beyond that, back towards the first room. And I'm gonna burn fire on these tables. Sure. You burn. You scorch scorch earth as you leave. Yep. All right. Original Card. Sherman. Yeah. I believe we have a marching order, correct, Barrack? And then position yourselves. Barrack, can you put yourself right here? Yep, Barrack, you're way too far, buddy. Position yourselves uh, behind Barrack. I'm assuming, excluding move distances here, you're all going to keep up in a line, basically. So, um, I'm, uh, uh, sight. Bob, I don't know if is this possible. Can I 
be tried to dodge as I walk every 30 feet? <laughs> it's an action, so no, because then you'd go super slow. Okay. <laughs> right? Wouldn't you agree? No, I, you're right. Uh, well, no, I would go 30 feet action. 30 feet action. Yeah, but you could be going 30 feet dash. You could be going 60 uh -huh. feet. Jeff, so, Jeff can do it with cunning, cunning action, can he? he Jeff could. could. Jeff could use a bonus action to... Uh, dash, correct, and then he could dodge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, did everybody just go around the corner on me? Here I was. Where? I think yeah, so. Just... Yeah, I think so. We're just around the corner. Yeah. I'm, I'm pinging it if that helps you if you zoom out. Now I need to zoom out. Okay. Just keep moving. Got you'll get through that darkness. Wait, hold it. Where the hell are you guys? I'm pinging it. Oh, you're keep way the hell out there. Yeah, keep going east. Yeah, we I'm just so kept sorry. Running. Okay. Now, they what do you running. want me to do? No, just they were saying that because in theory you can dash as a bonus yeah. action, you could dodge in the same turn. With your cunning action. I can, I can double move and dodge, yes. So if you want to do that, you could. But everybody else, if they're trying to get out as fast as they can, would not be able to double move and, and dodge. Yeah I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be doing that. Double move, dodge, double move. Okay, All so right. Scory will be out front and I'll be second with Eric. Uh, Scory's dead. Skeggy. Skeggy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, All right, so you, you get to that point here, and I'm just going to let you know, arrows will fly. This is because this is too um, hard to manage here. You wouldn't run right into uh, the area here. They're not exactly ready for it either. Just to let you know, arrows fly into the wall here. Um, so past you, Skeggy, they crash into the wall, splinter on the rock, and uh, there are hobgoblins opposite side of the cave entrance. So you're, you're approaching the cave entrance on your left and ahead, you can see your dark vision, um, well, even even the low light vision here, that there are hobgoblins in the corridor. I'll put their tokens out so you can see them. They are right here. All right. So yeah, I, I barely see the the first two. Yeah, how many are behind that's, them. yeah, that's what you'd see. You see the first two because it's a very narrow hallway anyway. OK. All right. OK, everybody, uh, we're going to go into initiative. I'll let you roll a new initiative here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Please, just don't be a one. Well, we're hey. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Substantially better. Oh, man. That's awesome. I Go hit us. both times. Okay. Uh, Jeff, by it. the way, when you want to do advantage, you press shift and for control. For... Oh, yeah. I, 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 I saw control was disadvantage, but I couldn't. I, I, alt wasn't doing me any good. I didn't yeah, think shift. shift. I meant to say it earlier, sorry. What the shift? <laughs> I see. What the shift? I see. Thank you. Skaggy, you're at a 13. I'm a 13, yeah. And what's your initiative bonus? Uh, plus, it's, uh, plus, it's three? plus two. Plus two. Yes. Gotcha. Thir it 11. was 11 plus two for 13. Gotcha. I don't understand the question. Yep, your initiative bonus plus two. Gotcha. All right. So we go to. It's going to start with Karg. Card yeah. first. Of course, cool, so I'm gonna peek around the corner and shoot another one. By the way, they come in. They come in packs of twenty, uh, and I definitely would have two packs. So even twenty is not gonna be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Not ten. Just ten. Ten would have been harder to justify. We're getting closer. Okay. Oh, that's so awesome! It did it automatically. So it rolled a one, but it's the first time it's ever happened. Because I'm a. Uh, Little, little halfling, so I get to reroll once. Oh yeah! Oh, nice. oh that's D and D Beyond. It's the first time it happened, so I get a fifteen to hit. Nice. Um, real quick, um, Barrick, does your bless stay? I mean, I know we. No, so, it's one minute, so yeah. it's questionable to still be here. Yeah, I'd say all the the turns it took to get here, in addition to some of the conversation debating. Yeah, ten turns have probably happened. Yeah, I would say so because four turns how, went through our combat. How many rounds of uh, Dragon Breath would you say I still have? Um, I'll double check. When did you cast it? The last round of combat? Right, right before I ran. Okay. We probably I'll, did like what five turns. I'll double of check. Yeah. I'll I double ran, then cast, or I cast it and ran in. Yep. So then I would have, I would have nine rounds after Two, that. Three, four, five, six. Like it took you probably six round. turns to get here. So I would have two more shots have four left. left. Four? four? It's it's a minute, right? Yeah, ten turns. Ten, ten turns. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So that's a uh, card. Your turn. You got a 15 and 
No bless. That is still going to hit. I think. Yes. Let me just double check. I got to check my oh. book. Ah. Oh. I'm almost certain it hits. That's good uh, enough for us, Bob. Roll your damage. Yeah. <laughs> Seven piercing. We trust you. Seven piercing. Gotcha. All right, so that's and the end of your turn. Are you moving or? Uh, Garg, if you move up, I'll be right behind you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move a little bit. Uh, don't <laughs> lie. That's already five, ten. Yeah, I think we need to get up to the hallway in case we need to retreat. We could even, yeah, we could even just keep running out. Like, that's as far as I can go. That's my turn. Okay. All right, then we go to... Eric, 14. All right, I'm going to do, let's see, one, two, three. Six. Um, and y'all yeah, shoot a crossbow, both of the one on the top. It does hit, by the way. 15 does hit. Woohoo! Uh, that's not going to hit, then. That's, uh, that's an eight. So just shoot a crossbow into the wilderness and uh, shake my hand. It wasn't a good uh, toll the dead instead. <laughs> yeah. That's my turn. Messed up not doing toll the dead. Uh, being high in the order is no good for me. I got to go last so I can benefit from everyone else. Yeah, that's often the case. 30 feet. What? He'll engage you with the long sword to we give me three, some of your four, dexterity. Five. It's not that I have a high six. dexterity. I, I have a pretty bad dexterity. Oh, that's right. Oh, you know what? I can't just uh, I don't get dodge as one of the cunning actions. It's dash, disengage, or hide. So you, so you dash as your bonus and you dodge as your regular action. Thank you. So you could still do it, but... I can um, still do it. It's just yeah. The, yeah, thank you. Yeah, happy oh, to have Jesus, that. there's a bunch of them. There are, seem to be six. So the ones in the front draw long swords as they charge, and the others are going to stay back with their longbows. Let's go to Karg. You're up, you're up front. We'll do the long swords first. They're going before, uh, before some of us. Dang. Okay. Let's see here. 20. To hit. Card. Sorry, I muted. Yes, 20 will hit. 17 okay. is my escape. I figured it hit, but I just wasn't sure if there's any reactions anybody has or something. But all right, so 20 hits, and then it's going to do a total of four slashing because they're using it two handed, and it rolled lower than the one handed. But they also nice. have a martial advantage, which is an additional five. So you're going to take nine in total. Nine slashing damage from the oh. long sword. Yeah. All right. That's then, bad, guys. That means a minimum hit is going to be like six points. Minimum. The other is going to be, let's mm -hmm. see here, longbows. Longbows at Kark. Two at Kark. Oh, jeez. A nine, not a nine, excuse me, uh, 17 hits for nine piercing. 13 will hit for nine more. Okay. And a 13 misses for, 13 does not hit you, right? Yeah, you said yeah. 17. So the 17 hits for nine, 13 misses, with, well, misses for nothing. Um, and then the other two are going to go at Eric. Nice. Eric, you got a 18 and a 12. So the 18 is going to hit. 18 going to hit. And that will be for, that's going to be for two piercing. Nice. Two. Heck yeah. Um, that wasn't very good. Although, Karg, I think actually I'm just realizing... It's going to be a little more damage than that. It was a nine is what I told you, right? <laughs> yeah. So once per turn, hobgoblin deal. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it, it, there is a hobgoblin within five feet of you, correct? So it's going to use its martial advantage here as well. It's not just a melee attack for an extra three. Ooh. Okay. All right, so those are all the hobgoblins turn. We go to Skeggy and then Hieronymus. Who should I shoot? That was 21 damage this round, by the way, just so everyone's keeping track at home. <laughs> yeah. We're in a world of hurt here. Um, shoot the top one. Should I, well, do, I, do I want to shoot a melee guy or do I want to try and shoot a longbowman? Can you run and try to just barrel him over, like knock him down? I have a strength I, of five. Shoot I'd the, say shoot the one on top shoot, in front of Scott Karg. Shoot whichever one took damage. We just want to kill their action economy. So I attacked okay. the one that was the north which one, one here. Which one's Where did hurt? That go, Bob? This one is injured to the one uh, the one directly across from you. 
Okay, I, I will. I will insightfully fight him first. Okay. Ouch. That, that isn't uh, turning out to be very useful. Um, okay, so I'll just shoot him with my crossbow. He fails. You you surpass him. I with that with a six. Yep, he got a four. Okay, sweet. So I get my I get my uh, sneak attack bonus then. Wouldn't you? You, yeah. I'm right there. What did you get it? Yeah, you so, already get it. He's right there. Yeah. So the benefit for the the insightful fighting would be like to if you wanted to hit this guy in the back or <laughs> somebody that's not engaged with the friend. That's okay, what it's well, going to be. If circumstances change, it means I, I still keep keep getting it. That's that's true. If you like, but yeah. So because it lasts until you do it on somebody else, right? Yeah. What I should have done is I should have waited until after the shot to do it. That's I'll, I'll say you can push it to somebody else. We were just talking about this earlier, so. Okay, okay. So I, I'm not gonna since I don't need it this time. I will not use it until afterwards, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. There's, there's the attack. Eleven. It's not gonna hit. Not Fifteen gonna hit. seems to be the number. Okay. So I'll I'll insightfully fight this guy. Okay. The, the, the same guy. Okay. It worked then. Um, we go to Hieronymus, then Barrack on deck. Are uh, you going to move, Skaggy? Uh, yeah, I'm going to move up part way. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll move up. Yeah, Aramus move... goes there, and he breathes fire on these two. Gotcha. Dexterity, correct? DC 14, dex check. Both of them fail. Two and a three. Yes. I love the idea that, like, you're just slightly taller than me, so you don't even need your evocation. It just, like, goes <laughs> over my head. Because you are a little bit taller than me, aren't you? I don't John, know. Could I'm, you like, two and a half feet tall. Could you have, like, a reverse small. mohawk, John? <laughs> he's right yeah. down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. He's evocation, though, so he does get to magically see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, reverse mohawk, he's bald. <laughs> well, I so meant just down right the middle. The middle. Right Only down, down the middle. I use him as a sight. It's a monk <laughs> exactly. Cut. As a sight. <laughs> like a shotgun. <laughs> we call him Iron Sight's Kark. You just like put your chin on my on my head. Yeah. Line up because it comes out of your mouth. I love That's it. That's great. So I, I did um, nine damage for, to the two in front of uh, Kark. Okay, great. Um, that would be. You don't get not, this on critical roll. I can tell you that. 14 damage to one of them, right? And then the other six to so 15. So this one's dead. I did seven. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, this one takes nine? Yep. Okay. Still up. All right. All right. So uh, we go to Barrack. Mohag on deck. I'll move. I'll hit this guy. Or I'll try. <clears throat> There's only one Hobgoblin left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. In front uh, of you. Yes. Come on, buddy. I need you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll hit him with my Warhammer. Bludgeon his head in with five bludgeoning damage. That will knock him out. Excellent. And um, I'm going to then move one, two, three, four, five. And uh, Cockroach is not there. I don't know why yeah. Token's still there. Well, I want there to be enough room behind me. Yeah. Right, Bear five. in mind that some of us are short-legged little cusses who aren't going to be That's why I'm just... Far. Trying to move. Uh, maybe I'll move then just here. I'm trying to kind of start building like the gap where we can run through. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Every one we kill on the way out is one we don't have to fight when we come back tomorrow. That's yeah, as you're far right. As I can but get. I'm just trying to also get out. Yeah. Just so you know, I am gonna step up there and burn all those guys if I get. I'm so excited. You would not believe it. <laughs> oh, Mohag will. Oh, hey. Going to... Okay. Yep, Mohag will double move uh, to there. And... The worst spot possible? That's all right, Mohag, you go. We'll drag it's, you out. I, yeah, spot. I will definitely I say, well done, lad. All right, so that's where Mohag goes, and he has his battle axe or a great axe out. We go to top of the order, Karg. All right, Mohag, seems like you got it. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do that. As much that's the, that's the space I was gonna go and die. Uh, Get out there. Five, ten, fifteen. Watch it. No. Let's what? kill him. I figure we'll kill him on our way out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Car's right up there. I can be. Yeah. 
I'm gonna drop flame on that. Well, shoot, uh, now I would have gone up there, dang. I'm going to take the dodge action, seeing how effective it was earlier in the game. Mohag's like, get out of here, little buddy. I got this. I'll hold him off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. I love Mohag. That's so sweet. You're going to turn to Who are you, and what did you do with Mohag? <laughs> Mohag I'm not approvingly. I love that you're trying to pretend. You're going to turn tail in like two seconds. <laughs> okay. You turn around, he's gone. No, just <laughs> No, I come up there and I say, Mohag, we got this. Let's try to make man buns cool or something. Like, maybe. Is that possible? I don't know. His man bun is completely gone at this point. It's just his hair, just, uh, you know, his his hair is just, like, kind of grouped together with the sweat. And it's just all on his face. It's so unkept. He's terrible. Does he say, this is not my final form? He knows this is not his final form. <laughs> this may be his final form. That's the sad thing. I could only hope. Uh, let's see here. Who's next? We got Eric Lavernus. I will also... Uh charge forward one two three four five give me that give me that spot right behind it give me that spot you want that spot right there yep yeah he can get all okay then one more um five. and i'm gonna do a toll the dead because that never misses um on this top one i think that's the only one taking damage right yeah that's okay he's gonna take more damage uh let's see not much damage. Uh, if he makes the whistle and save throw, he takes one damage. Otherwise, he takes no damage. Oh, that's terrible. That's natural one on the die there. That's terrible. You don't get to add your uh, wisdom yet? Not on a camp. Uh, you, you will eventually. Oh, maybe that's if you're a great player. Fails. Never mind. Yeah. He fails. That sounds cool. Well, it takes one player. necrotic damage. Which one was it? The top one. Gotcha. Go ahead. Uh, and he melts. Ah. No, wow, not this me. time. Uh, Hieronymus, you're on deck. Skeggy is up right now. Okay. Well, I'll go one, two, three, four. Uh, can't. There's no fifth space. Um. I, mean, I guess I could go. I. I don't. That doesn't help me. I'll go to there and. Um, let's see. I don't need to use my, uh, okay. Shoot, shoot I, I, I get my sneak attack on these them. guys, right? On the first two. The back the two, you would two. not. Shoot the bottom okay. one. I'm gonna shoot the one that's not hurt. Yeah, yes. nice. Okay, and we're just softening him up a little bit. You're gonna you kill might him. kill him if you hit him. <laughs> Keep okay. softening him up. Oh, no. 14. Uh, close. 15 is the number. Oh. I cheer him on. Help and him. And he gets a D4. Okay, in that case, <laughs> I'm going to... Wow. You know what? Hang on, I moved. And I No, I haven't done my bonus action yet. Should I just should I just dash on out? You could. Mm. Uh, worst idea. I, bonus, I, ac bonus action, dodge, run out. Well, it would, I've already, uh, it would make sense if you went towards the door. I don't know if I would go all the way out yet. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm kind of a kind of a because I'm, yeah, I'm we covering still got, a retreat. We still yeah. got big wizard with a couple more turns of dragon breath and full health. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So that's the end of your turn, Skeggy. Yep, yeah, I'm I'm dashing for my bonus action. Okay. The goblins that are in front are going to disengage. Aww. And they are going to run back. They are going to keep their position, though. They are uh, fighting stance. They're not going to let you attack. Actually, you know what? Yeah, they're going to disengage. They're not, they're not they going have to numbers. Something. They would step in. They do not have numbers. They have four <laughs> people, and you have six. So at this point, they don't feel too confident, and they're going to step back. But they are not going to, like I said... They're still ready to fight. The ones in front will draw swords, and the others keep their backs. Uh, the, in the back, keep their bows out. Okay. Um, Do I get an they, opportunity attack? They disengaged, the okay. uh, the two in front, and they'll keep their bows. The ones in front will drop their bow and take their long swords out, and they look that they have readied actions at this point. Um, 
So, yeah. Go for it. We go to Hieronymus. Five, the man of the hour. 20, 25. Dragon breath. Okay. <laughs> You'll miss one. All right. Go Get in it. there. All right. So I've got a total of three rolls to make. One 14 and one 13. What's your DC 14? Uh, DC is 14. Uh, 14. 14 okay, so, so then the one on top who had the one hit point, he takes some damage. He'll go to nine because he failed. He'll take the full. The one below this one is going to take not, uh, eight. And the one behind is going to take four. So full, full success. So he's he's taken out. And this one took none. All right. That's the end of that. That's their saves. Anything else from you, Hieronymus? Mm, that is all. Barrick? Let's get the experience. I, um, let's see. I would like to dodge and go to right here. Ready uh, to actually, action. I can go to right here and dodge. Uh, dodge and then go to right there. Yep, ready to actions will go off. Disengage uh, with disadvantage. So the first one is 16. Nope. And the second one, a 17. Still nope. not going to hit. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Disregard that last roll. No, no, keep it. That's still, it was a crit, and uh, one of them would have reduced, so it would have taken the lower. Okay, oh, that's shoot. the end of the readied actions. Anything else from you, Barrick? No, I'm Okay, good now there. we go to Mohag. Mohag will jump up front, take a big swing. He rolls a two, nat two, so it's not going to hit. <laughs> My egg. But he swings with his great axe. We go to top of the order, Karg. Yeah, my egg's in my way again. <laughs> he told you to run. Go, little buddy. I guess I'm going to keep on the crossbow train. I mean... Go, little buddy. I, I got can't this. fit in this space, even though I'm tiny. It's like a half space. Um, You could, but I'd say you'd have to leave that square. It's not... It's like right up against the... Uh, the wall, right? So you'd have to maybe... You couldn't end your move there, but I'll let you go there and attack if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Only because like you're so itty-bitty. I am itty-bitty. I'll allow it, because you're itty-bitty. Hey! 16 to hit. That's a good Let's number. Go! 7 slashing damage. And that kills that goblin, I believe. Because he was oh. injured from the fire breath. Yep. Okay. You cleared I one. I guess I'm taking a... You, you could take no. his spot if you'd like. Yeah, Hieronymus is small. He can fit in that space too, right? If necessary yeah. for a moment, yeah. All right. Here, right. Here's my death right here. Let's okay. Um, well, they are. it's not their turn, so it goes back to uh, Eric now. Eric Lavernus. I'm going to cast a guiding bolt on the one in the very back. Most Guiding that. You got to some major dudes. That's okay. Cool. Never Roll mind. to hit. It's the yep. one. Yeah, I see why. Yep. Roll to hit. Uh, Come on, Eric. Don't disappoint the fans out there. <laughs> you know I love to. No. Wow. You cast it at second level. It's the last spell that I had. Oh. You have inspiration? No, he missed. Nope. nope. That would have been the heal. <laughs> I, I, I've got a plan. Don't worry. If anything goes no, bad, no. I got a plan. Yeah. All right. So you miss with the guiding bolt. It goes oh. wide. The, uh, I believe Skeggy is up right now. And then the hobgoblins go. Uh, do I have a shot at anyone at this point without yeah. moving? I would say so for sure. Okay. Uh, what, this guy right here? You can see this one. You can see this one with some cover probably. Okay. Why don't I you can't, just move down five I feet? Well, yeah. Uh, I'll. You'll get your sneak attack against that one. Yeah. That one. He wants to maybe get the advantage if he doesn't move. 
Oh. Thank I would God. say I you the, get... That makes one. sense. This top one, you would be able to hit. He'd get a plus two to his save for uh, for the minimum cover. And okay. Then but I would one. have advantage on that if I do steady aim? Correct. Exactly. Yep. Let's do that. I'll, okay. I'll take a I'll take a plus two on his AC yep. in exchange for advantage. Seems fair. I, I think I think I'm sure that the math club will tell me I'm wrong, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Gotta ask the A V club. They're the cool kids. Seventeen. That will hit. Okay. With yes. exact number, seventeen. Here comes the damage. Oh he's dead. Toast. So, yeah, it's a seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Nasty. 17 for 17. <laughs> okay. All right. There's only two left here. Uh, uh, they go right now. And they have bows out, so the front one will take out a sword and attack you, Karg. Actually, I the will, bolt. I will impose disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Let's say they're probably both going to end up doing this because they're there at this point. They have nowhere to run, nowhere to do anything. So the first attack is going to be a 15. Does that hit you? Karg? Karg? Uh, sorry, I keep using myself. No. no Disadvantage for a 15. Gotcha. Alright, so then we go to the other one. It'll step up and attack. One, two. Uh, numbers. Wait, it doesn't have a disadvantage, this one, right? Correct. Oh, so then it's the 22 is the first roll, not the 14. So 22 to hit. That will hit. This is going to hurt, John. Um, 11 slashing, and it's going to use its martial advantage to do an additional 6. So that's 17. Yeah, no, that'll knock me down. Okay. You're unconscious. Not dead, but dying. I'm going to roll your uh, death clock right now. Yeah. All right. Remember, it's a D3 for everyone at home. Okay. As I take it. the attack. D3 plus one, isn't it? No, yeah. it's just... Mm -hmm. Sorry, yes, D3 plus one. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. John? As I, as I take the attack, I close my eyes as the sword is coming towards me, and I'm like, maybe I will discover that that magic again. Hmm. John, how many hit points do you have? Uh, how many did I have before the attack? Yeah. I had ten. 10, huh? Yep. And I did how many to you? 17. Did I say 17? Yeah, 17. Hey, John. What's up? Give me a... You'll hear a... a whisper in your ear as the sword is coming down. Like you said, you close your eyes and you wait for a moment. You don't feel the sword coming. Your eyes stay closed. And you hear a woman's voice. And it says, Let me in, Kark. I can help you. <laughs> Who? Who are you? Oh. Almighty One? Tell me now. Let me in. I can save your life. <laughs> I crave more of that power. I can give that to you, Karg. <laughs> and I just release the resounding, like, yes sensation. The emotion. You, you go into a rage. Uh, oh. Roll your chart, and you'll take half the damage, which will give you two hit points left. Yeah. So you're still up with two hit points, and roll your chaos. Uh, I run it was approved. Roll. All right, D100, baby. 11. An 11. What's it give you? <laughs> you are reduced to a child for the duration of your rage. Oh, no. Speed, damage, and armor class are halved. So oh, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm just going to reskin this a tiny bit, okay? <laughs> all, the, all that is going to happen. All the effects of your chart are going to happen. Um, however, um, rather than being just a child... What's actually going to happen is your skin looks like it is going to wrinkle up, almost as if while you're becoming more, maybe more diminutive in size, it's not due to age, it's due to, like, your your body just kind of, like, uh, I don't want to say drying out, but, like, you are basically shriveling and, and becoming more diminutive because all of the, the fat 
and the the like the the uh, elasticity in your body is kind of oh just leaving God. you. Ugh. So you're not nice. younger. You're just you have been shrunken down. It's, sh- it's like shrunken headed. Yeah, and that's actually I would say your head probably looks more like <clears throat> that of a gaunt, shrunken head. It's probably the size of that, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you may carry on with your. Oh. Yeah. So you have two hit points, correct? I have two hit points, correct? Because it did seventeen and a half, so it's it's uh, eight, and you had ten. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. All right. That's uh, that's it. The, the the hobgoblins are actually probably horrified by this, and will spend the rest <laughs> of their turn running. Uh, Equal you can take, a, you, you yeah, can take an attack of opportunity. Horrified. Yeah. Do I get an opportunity? To- yeah, both of them are leaving. One is more damage, and the other has no damage. How the one on the bottom. Yeah. The one that was in front of me was the... Yeah. You hit. With a 21, you hit, and you get a... Plus your rage damage. Wait, I just gotta make sure. Uh, Should be plus two. Yeah, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm just checking to make sure everything that's... Uh, minus from the it's not a disadvantage it's just the damage is halved yep so you are going to kill that one because it's going to do a total of eight and yeah, only but a, half, took four. so it's only going to do four damage you do no your normal oh the diminutive yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so he, he's he is still alive he's going to run the rest of his turn he's going to go down 5 10 15 20 25 30 oh. and the other one is going to go from up here, 5, 10, 15, 20. He used five of his movement already, so he's going to go here. Okay. All right. Now we go to... That was the goblin's turn. Now we go to Skaggy... Uh, sorry, uh, Hieronymus, Barrack, and Mohag. Are we running or are we chasing? I mean, throw some fire at him. Then we can run. Well, I got to run down there to throw fire. Not well, too I'm far, down with man. that. But ten. What about a fireball? Uh, well, I can throw a fireball from here. Yeah. Yeah, you won't be able to hit with a fire I'll breath. I don't think. I don't think you'll get dragon's breath to them because you can only go twenty-five, right? I'll go yeah. there, and uh, which one, whichever one was hurt, I'll throw a firebolt at him. The further one. Go ahead. Uh, here it is. Oof, that'll be a miss. It flies. You're distracted by the the, the disgusting shriveled know, halfling. I'm grossed out. Next to you. Yeah. I'm excited for and grossed out by him. <laughs> All right. The hobgoblins will flee. Does anybody want to take a pot shot as may leave? Yep. I drop my it. sword and shield and throw off a longbow, which I look at it first and I'm like, I've literally never done this. Yeah. You, it's, it's always yeah. on my back. That, I, I try. Wanna... It's always on my back. And now and you know why. Three. I don't. I think I like release the the bowstring and like it misses the knock on the like it's not even knocked and just snaps my wrist and, and I get upset you know it. and now That's you know why if, if he had time to do all that do I have time to take a shot dropping your your items is is uh, free um, yeah I just dropped them and shot my longbow yeah taking out a weapon is part of your move and then attack so yes you can attack I can you can attack with your bow yeah you can you can move okay. and attack all right if I shift two spaces I can get a I can see him. Okay, I'll um, I'll insightful fight him. Okay, though the you're far for sight. You have sixty foot dark vision. Yes. Let's Should see. Enough. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so I have I have rolled a twenty one on my insightful fighting. You will get it. They cannot pass. Okay. But you need to hit first. <laughs> and I do not. You were yeah. epic at missing. On that, every Epic. time. All well, right, I there... finally got the insightful fighting, and then I blew the attack. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have a range attack they could use? Karg, you can go run up to one of them, probably. Yeah, I have the ability to attack. We're just gonna do it out of turn. What's your um? What's your speed? Twenty-five. Does it reduce when you get smaller? Half. So then you can only go. But I can attack with disadvantage up to one hundred and twenty feet. With what? My hand crossbow. Oh, 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 okay, good. Makes sense. Shall I? Shall. You might lose your rage, right? Uh, if I attack? Yeah, because I don't think you even, you don't even get your rage bonus. I see crossbow hand rage. Oh, yeah. 
But how do you get your rage bonus when you attack with this? That I was supposed to delete, yeah. That's okay. Still, it, well... <laughs> the first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll miss, yeah. Eric, yes. you have a shot at them, otherwise they're going to run away. I'm going to do it to all the dead. Okay. On the one that was damaged? Yeah. Don't we know what that cave looks like? Is that a dead end? He fails. No, it's, it wraps around. That's the uh, rest of the goblin cave. It yeah. uh, goes around to Hobgoblinville. Yeah, you, you, you kill him. Yes! Yeah, side we did before. That's so one you, more. Correct. Basically, more experienced. Yeah. Basically, I, just I, to I, let I, you know, I, these caves, you get the sense already from the geography that they, they do map around, uh, wrap around um, the hobgoblins, and the goblins seem to be connected pretty yeah, pretty uh, tightly. All right. That's the end of the combat there. The other one's going to spend stern double moving away unless you want to chase it, but it's nope. one hobgoblin. Um, why don't we head out of the cave at this point? Um, we'll just switch over our roll 20 screen. To I'm going to double player. back and grab my wine cask again. Yeah, all your items that you left I, probably I dropped within. Right at the beginning of this fight. Yeah, yeah, I'd say you could just pick those all up. Whew, my wow, goodness. We survived. My <laughs> goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, everybody, um, you exit the caves, and at this point, is the goal to just kind of hide out in the Kobold Cave? Yeah, we'll go back yes. to the Kobold Cave and yep. bring okay. them back our stuff, you know, um, already live it up. Long yeah. rest. You can hear. Um, sound though drums begin to beat from inside the hobgoblin and goblin lairs um, as you're crossing the ravine um, well, there are three guys there what's that so the one, I'm like they, there are only like three guys left in there no 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 um the oh, the, the, I don't think the so. side where Nate was yeah that side had quite a number of of people up there you only saw at the landing a couple of uh, ones shooting longbows, but okay. he had easily perceived multiple other people shifting around up there, just in the darkness, kind of hard to tell. That but he knew that there was... From initially. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. The ones that were trying to stall. Those ones. Um, so at this point, um, you head across the ravine, but you hear the pounding of drums, the, the war beat, kind of getting amped up from the hobgoblins. And as you're crossing the ravine, you start to hear similar noises, uh, whether it's uh, drumming or just chanting coming from the other caves. And as you finally sneak away into the kobold one, and you could see uh, Midu at the front kind of waving you in, come on, get in quick. He'll, he'll tell you that the, the war drums mean that other, they're calling basically for aid, and others may be on the lookout for you, so get in quickly before anybody knows that you're here. Okay. I so do that. You, you head on in to the Cobalt Cave and into the uh, the security of your cave. Hey guys, we we we, we brought some goodies. Uh, I'll immediately collapse, uh, bleeding from multiple places. Uh, yeah. I'll step on him and keep on going. I will literally throw him to the ground if that's what he does. <laughs> There's no, no way. You've had it with him, huh? <laughs> I've got multiple arrows sticking out of me. Uh, the guy didn't take any damage. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull one out. Uh, no, if you go to pull one out, I'll throw you off of me again. Oh. <laughs> um, at this point, your rage definitely ends, Carter. It ends probably right after that, that turn. Um, yeah. I'm going to say that you're just just for purposes of the story, your skin will start to go back, but it's not going to be immediate. Like you still look shriveled, like a like I said, like a dried uh, halfling, basically. Um, but starting to gain back the elasticity in your skin, and as you get across the ravine and finally into the cobalt cave, uh, out of out of the daylight, um, you know you feel much better in the cave. I'd say that the sun really made you feel like that effect was even worse on you. Like, you almost had that sunlight sensitivity that, like, kobolds or um, the drow have. So, you must you felt like that as you crossed through the ravine. Interesting. Um, for those that were watching that combat, what did it look like when he didn't get hit by the sword? Or did it look like he just, like, the sword just missed? Oh, no, it hit him. Uh, it hit him, uh, actually. Uh, it, for you, watching... John, it yeah. hit 100%, but he went into a rage, which you didn't... He, like, 
you didn't think he had that next gear, and he went no. to that next gear when he got hit. Yeah, yeah. So he, he just took it on the chin and rolled with it. Nifty. But then that transformation happened, like, immediately. Like he turned from the case. hit. Yeah, he turned from the hit, and his head was sunken in. It's <laughs> freaky, but I'm not Hello. here to judge. So, um, let's switch us back to our normal screen here. So you're taking a rest here. Let's just uh, before we close out, let's just discuss maybe plans going forward. And this, I'm taking a long rest, I assume, right? Yeah, yeah. Love to. The yeah, kobolds, uh, Midu, he'll come up to you and he'll say. Don't worry, Midu will send a group out. No one will know you're in here. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Whatever you do, me do. Right? <laughs> what is this in these? You brought crates? I. Barrels? Some supplies. For us? I. You brought us food? Yes, we're friends. And wine. It's for you and us and everyone. Friends. And, ha and hair ties, Mohag. I'm frozen. <laughs> Except that they don't have hair. <laughs> you can do anything with hair ties. <laughs> These are trap making bands of. That's true. They help with slingshots. <clears throat> Valuable, no doubt. And Midu uh, looks at all of you and he's like overjoyed with. Uh, the idea that you cared for him. Well, Give for me the a... whole. Yeah. It's for his whole his whole uh, tribe. I mean, Jeff, it's I like think... the, the cats and dogs thing where like if you feed a dog, they're like, you're a god. Like you take care of me. Where it's like if you feed a cat, it's like, I'm a god. They take care of me. Right. Me do a step on the cat spectrum. So He's like, what oh, I want to I'm a god. What's funny is kobolds are actually more like dogs, I think, right? I like their no. rate, their race yeah. is more dog-like. Um, dragon dogs. You, um... Yep. Here's what I'll have you do, though. I'll let you decide. I think it was Skeggy's idea to bring stuff back, but I'm not going to yeah. make it force Skeggy to do this. But anyone who would like to do a, uh, we'll say a persuasion check, I think is the role here. You want to reinforce this idea that you're on their side. So you can either do a group check or pick somebody to do it. But see if you can I... even gain more favor with these kobolds. No. Arnos will not take part of any persuasion. Check. No. <laughs> um, neither, neither will me, because I think mine's even lower than you. I have a six. So do I. Negative two. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I've got a plus four on persuasion. Um, if we're metagaming. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old uh, diplomat. You are. You have a plus four? Yeah. It's, That's it's not one crazy. of my things. You're persuasive. Ah, I, have, yeah. I, have, I have skill in persuasion. So persuade him. Okay. And uh, I you. want you to I want you to roleplay this. And Barrick, if you're gonna, you want to aid, maybe that's possible. But yeah, I could aid. But you gotta <laughs> roleplay this to let me know how you're really sealing the deal here. Well, because we're literally bringing gifts, can you get advantage at least? That's what the aid would be. Okay. Yeah. Oh, me do. <clears throat> I can't find the voice tonight. I don't know. Well, anyhow. Sounds good to me. Hey, you've been a good and loyal friend to us, and we want to make sure that you and yours are well taken care of. We want this alliance to continue into the future, and we want you to know that you, that we are your trusted friends. And, uh, Nate, what are you adding to this? Uh, indeed, friend. I see strength and, and leadership in you. And uh, I wish to, I wish to support you as as you support us. And we work like, together. You say strength, and he like looks at his like his bicep, and he's like, "Me do is strong." You I like pretend wise. to sneeze as I have to cover a laugh. <laughs> Moja. <laughs> uh, he goes. Yes, me do very strong. Give me that roll, Skeggy. Can call it oh, out. Okay, here we go. Call it out. Let's hope. If it goes. I think you have advantage. Was though. that did we have advantage on that? Yep. Okay, here yep. comes the second roll. Hey now. There we go. Eighteen. Midu is uh wide eyed. He's got like a you can see like a little tear forming. I don't know if kobolds can cry, but they got a tear <laughs> forming right there in the corner. And they start like 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 kind of a 
going through, spelunking through all the uh, the items you brought him. They're throwing like the hair ties. They're grabbing the beef jerky, the Slim Jims, <laughs> and uh, they're devouring whatever they find. But Midu quickly tells all the rest of the kobolds. At this point, you notice there's maybe more like 10 or 12 now in the cave. There were only like five or four when you left, and then oh, a bunch good. of children. So they've, good. they've a couple coming. of the patrols. Yeah, a couple of the patrols have Pretty. come back. Yeah. If you um, build it, they will come. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also getting later in the night, so it's, you know, the, the patrols are all coming back and bringing things in that they found. Um, and you can see uh, Midu call all the rest of them to attention, and he explains in, in Kobold to them, barking the order, that we need to go out because we don't want to ra raise suspicion. Um, so he's going to go out and at least show face to the, to the other tribes. Um, you can take your long rest. We can roll our stats Oof. and everything off screen. We don't need to do that tonight. Um, nice. I think, but I would like, just before we close, anything you're looking to do next time? Are we, you have obviously a couple more caves unexplored. You've got the Hobgoblin Cave that we really were pushing into this, this night. Um, think about it. Hob Hobgoblins, baby. Yeah, I want to finish oh. off that cave. Well, we, need a, we need a long rest, though. Yes, you're going to take we a long rest. we got to get our spells yeah. back. And then I say we go back as soon as possible. Yeah. Sure. Hobgoblins may be on high alert, but yeah. I mean, you could. Yeah, but they're also on the back foot, so. Okay. So it I... seems like we'll delve even further into the Hobgoblin Cave next week when we play, which is, uh, uh, I posted actually a couple of updates here. Posted on um, my social media, my Instagram, um, Facebook, and Discord, uh, the schedule for the month. Because December is kind of, it's a weird month, you know, with the holidays and a couple of other things going on. Like, we have some schedule changes coming up. Um, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, their finale was last week on Tuesday. It was awesome. It was as good as I could have hoped it could have ended and um, really a fitting end to our story that we told since last October. Um, so really thrilled about that. And the conversation, the after the final roll, is tomorrow night. That's at 9 p.m. But then once Wild Beyond the Witchlight's done, Spelljammer is going to be moving into that slot. Our next game is next week on the 14th of December, and then we're going to take our little holiday break. But when we come back in January, Keep on the Borderlands is going every week. So Woo! stay tuned. Yes. Yeah. I'm pumped. I'm excited for the continuity. Just playing every week is so much fun. Yeah. So um, we'll, we'll definitely be able to press on faster, and uh, I'm excited to see how this game also comes to its conclusion. I, I uh, feel like we're... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I feel like we're finally getting into a flow. Yeah, yep. me too. Yeah. So yeah, we just really so, struggled for a long time. Before we before you sign off, so one of our big discussions in our group chat was the whole how to make a wand uh, discussion, and we were like like we were getting crazy with like like three of us combining our efforts into making a wand because we <laughs> need the boost. So uh, when you know, so if possible, Hieronymus wants to start that process right now after our long rest or even before it. Frankly, even the crafting of any plus w items at all, too. Yeah, yeah. I've got some uh, ideas. We'll uh, chat in between now and the fourteenth, and I'll explain to you how you would go about doing all that, and we'll present yeah. it on the channel next time. Um, excrement, excrement. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching, everybody. Like I said, a lot of ch schedule changes coming up, so check the Instagram, the uh, Facebook, and the Discord. I post there and the community tab. Honestly, I, I try to make it as visible as possible so you know the schedule but i started doing this this month and i'm going to continue this into the new year putting the entire month schedule up so that you can see uh when everything is coming out uh, so that should be good uh and uh yeah i think uh that's it we'll we'll sign off check the links below comment down below as well help the algorithm um give us a like but i uh, appreciate you sticking with us on this journey we'll see you all on the tabletop have a great night everybody weekly see weekly. you on the weekly